I, you guys, I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> um, I was putting putting my hair up and I didn't realize that it was getting late. Oh my gosh, how is everyone tonight? Oof. Let me fix this camera. Gosh, I'm so bad at like, hi Retro, hi Kay Lanner, Clanner, Carolina, Girl, Megan, Shaw, Dowden, Dina, hey, The Owl's Nest, <laughs> Letty, Rock, Paper, Chrissy, what's up you guys, sorry about um, being late, <laughs> I'm really bad with timing now that I got fired, I feel like, uh, I'm, like I'm on island time, hello Big Rich Money, that is Adam, Oh gosh. Welcome in y'all. Well, tonight is an unboxing of things that have accumulated over the past week that I thrifted. And then of course, if you want to pick, you want to purchase anything, you sure can. I hope you guys are doing well on the, I, mm -mm, don't do it, Adam. Okay. So Adam and I went to Hawaii and, um, that song was very popular there. I'm not going to sing it. Just look it up. Just look up on the island. We do it island style. I think it's just called island style. Hi, Blue Lilies. All right. So we are going to start off with a giveaway. I'm going to look for one. <laughs> I'm going to have to look for one because I didn't even plan this. It was just kind of like I was like driving home and I thought, you know what? Let me pop in. I haven't popped in in forever. So I'm really bad with that let's see if there's a paperweight we can give away yeah yeah there should be a paperweight we can give away mm -mm 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 -mm. i hope you're oh not the baccarat not the baccarat <laughs> not the baccarat oh my gosh okay let's see let's see let's see all right good um yes this one look how cool that one is Ooh, we're gonna give away this cute one it has really good depth it's small, it's really cute, it, it's polished on the bottom, real nice and good. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, take a picture of it. Uh, take photo, flip the camera around, take a photo of uh, this paperweight, add it, and then we're just gonna say, what do we call it, Millie Fury paperweight? Yeah, I guess so. Um, antiques, vintage decor, next. And we'll put uh, Millie Fury. I have so much stuff on tonight's show. <laughs> it's crazy. Paperweight. All right. And then we'll just put the that as a giveaway. And it will be anybody. Anybody can enter it. Um, everyone. Let's see. Shipping profile. Yeah, that's good. Publish. All right, and then we will start the giveaway, run the giveaway, and that is running. You are going to get a paperweight, very cute one, too, and I believe I got this one at an antique mall. So, oh, look at you could see my reflection on it. Lelo, lelalo. Yeah, you could see my reflection in it. Look. could see it. <laughs> oh, hey, everyone who's joining. Hi, Candice. Hi, more vin vintage and thrifty Arizona Inc. Angel, Angel, Rudolph is the best. I hope I pronounce everyone's name uh, right. And if you are on YouTube and you are envisioning this or watching this right now, um, thank you guys for being my subscribers and friends. And I really love your comments. You guys are great. Uh, you are welcome to watch this on YouTube. If you do want to participate in the bidding, just use the link that I just posted on the community, my last post on YouTube, so that you can sign up and then receive $15 to spend, which could be like three to four items on whatnot. Those of you who shop here know that, right? That could be like, that could be easily three or four items on something. So hello, Grammy, Kate Carroll. This is what the giveaway is. Get in on that. It's really pretty paperweight. There's only three people in the giveaway with 10 people in the room. So it says 11, but I'm one of them. <laughs> and then uh, I think it's really cute. Look at the cane work in there. It's actually really pretty. So I don't know if it's... Uh, like a Murano? It, I don't think so. Maybe. It's like frosted bottom. It could be Chinese, but if it is, it's excellent. Still an excellent giveaway. So some things I have tonight is um, our paperweights. Those are not things I thrifted. It's stuff that I already had. And uh, let me know how you guys are doing. Happy Monday. It was really nice to not be able to 
have to go to work today and make 42 calls a day and do any of the corporate stuff. Sometimes layoffs can be quite fun. I was driving around. I had lunch at La Granja with my husband and I went thrifting all day. Oh man, it was awesome. I was like, never will I do corporate again. Over with it. So yeah, this is what you're going to get, the giveaway. I have really cool stuff tonight. Holly Hobby, some turtle pin cushions that are really great. <laughs> Thanks, Seacox. Yeah, this is a great one. I think there's two minutes and 34 seconds, but I'll go ahead and run it at around um, 30 seconds left of it. I've got, um, I thrifted this. I thought this was really cute. Um, you know, I have nothing pinned or anything, so I'll just show you stuff, and then I will, you know, take a picture, and then I'll run things. So, door knockers. You know, I had antique door knockers that all sold out. Owl's Nest, so that doesn't help you at all, does it? But the vintage switch plates, uh, no, and I almost picked some up today, but they were resin. I can go back there tomorrow. Are you looking for resin or any type of uh, material in particular? Look, I got my nails done blue because, um, oh, thanks for coming in through a shared link, a Ludwig, a Ludwig, vintage metal. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for that. I'm going to go and hit up the antique mall tomorrow, so they might actually have some stuff. So, yeah. Cool. What a great giveaway. I think I love when people give away uh, paperweights. So I said, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, I even have these old prints. I guess they're prints. Yeah. Those might be prints. Yeah, I got my nails done today blue because uh, go ahead and bookmark uh, my blue show coming up. It's uh, two two nights, two separate nights um, and two different platforms. I can't say the other platform it's going to be on, but I'm bringing it to whatnot first. So um, definitely bookmark that if you like blue items. It's going to be nothing but blue items. I have not uploaded anything yet on this platform with it because I have a train somewhere else tomorrow. So I have to I have to do that. It's just a lot going on. So but I will definitely do it. I will definitely put that up for you. Okay, so we've got, oh, well, it's just going to run in about 40 seconds. Oh, the lighting is so bad here. You like my eye, eye liner? I used to do that a lot, but I stopped doing it for a while. I love the depth in this one. I love when it's deep like that, and the bed of it is just this beautiful cane work. All right, 27 seconds. Um, yeah, so I have some prints and... I found these. They're a little rusted on the edges, but I love them. You know what these are? My mother used to have these. Look at this. They were like in a little baggie. There's two of them. Those are really cool. You know, they're like little planters, but I thought they were great, so I have those. This is going to... Ooh, two seconds, y'all. Two seconds. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. I just got chills. Who's the winner? C. Currents 3 won the giveaway with the cute little paperweight. Oh, that is coming to you. What an adorable giveaway. You are going to absolutely love that. You're absolutely welcome. It's small and adorable. You're going to love it. All right, guys. So I have really cool stuff today. So just shout out things. I might have it around here if you're looking for dogs, turtles, um, paperweights, cats. Um, I have willow tree tonight. I have kakadu. I have an owl. Um, I have you know, all sorts of stuff. I think I'm going to start off with this mug though. It's technically not cursing because they say it. They say this on TV <laughs> all the time, but it is a vintage um, Russ mug. And I just thought it was funny and there's no swirly durly inside. So it looks like nobody ever actually used it, but I thought that was really fun. I'm going to, um, this one I'm going to run because I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, there might be someone that wants it. If not, that's fine, but it's funny. And life has been quite a bitch to me lately. So I thought it was funny. I laughed so out loud when I found this um, mug. So let's see, let's put it here and we'll put mug while well, I wrote nug and we'll write bit. <laughs> so we can't say the word. I don't know. I have my sensor thingy on. I mean, the explicit content thing on. So I guess technically I can say it. <laughs> I'm going to run it for only uh, five because I paid 99 cents for this. And I don't think that's of high value. So we'll do that. Um, save. Publish. 
it's a little over eight ounces so that's excellent all right so um if you guys don't know me also please subscribe to youtube it really does help with the algorithm so we do have a youtube channel a little over seven thousand beautiful subscribers that i'm like in love with they're so fun so go over there and subscribe to us we're also on instagram TikTok, facebook all right here we go five dollars for the bitchy mug and that will run for i'll do i'll do 20 seconds each time and that is running if anyone is interested in the bitch mug if not i've got other stuff i've got lots of stuff i'm just going to show it to you invite your friends too they might want stuff here little bitch mug and I like how it like kind of descends like, yes, it is. Thank you guys so much for looking at that. I also have some Italian glass vintage bottles. I did remove the tape. Um, there's no chips or cracks at all, but I know they're Italian. I looked them up and they're uh, really excellent. So if anyone is interested in those, I did pay um, two for each. The value of them are, they're quite high, but on this platform I could do um, 25 for them both if you're interested in them they're quite large and they're beautiful and vintage with the turquoise uh glass toppers so let me know i will pin them and put them in i think what i'm going to do is probably just show it to you and if you guys say run then i'll run them okay that'll be easier for me instead because i have a lot of stuff over here so so there's that and then i'll go over them again later i also have these if anyone are, is interested in this one i have it it's pretty old um you know of course i'll clean it up before i send it to you and it smells like really old <laughs> it says these ca deeds count not boasting words i like it for the frame i like the wood i thought that was really cool i also have another one this one says kindness is never wasted these are like aesop's fable prints this one in the back is just the paper's in bad shape but the picture itself is pretty good of course there's some wear and some age to the matting you know, so these combined, um, uh, I could run for 15 combined, which I think is a pretty good deal uh, for them being kind of, I think they're antique, personally. They sure as heck smell like it came out of a haunted house. I always say that when something is like pretty antique. So 15 for those, if anyone's interested, if anything catches your eye, let me know. Um... I thrifted this. I thought this was cute. I thought it was actually pretty adorable. Um, it is resin, but that's okay. It's a cowgirl getting flirted on by a cowboy, I guess. But I thought it was really cute. And, you know, maybe you know a cowgirl, maybe you know a cowboy. You know, and this one I can run for uh, 10 if anybody wants it. I paid 5 for it. So I can start the auction at 5 for that. If you know anybody and they're, you know their birthday is coming up or something hi tammy welcome there was a paperweight giveaway <laughs> so and then i also found a cranberry glass pitcher optic which i thought was really cool this one i can run for t uh nine i can run that for nine hi tammy <laughs> i did pay three for it so if anyone is interested in the little cranberry optic, $9. All you have to do is say run if you see anything that you like, okay? I'm just going to show you everything I have. Got my Starbucks in tow. So nine for that. Um, I have a piece of Israeli. Um, I have a couple of Israeli things here. This is just a really cool trinket dish. I don't, it says Holy Land. So I guess it's from the Holy Land, maybe. But um, I really like verdigris. And uh, in Israel, they do that a lot. Verdigris is when they intentionally make the brass green. So, um, and it is marked in the back. It says Made in Israel. And it has a sticker on it. So this one I can run for eight. If anyone is interested in that, you just drop your rings in it. You know, very, very good piece there. And it says Holy Land on it in some kind of retro writing. Check it out. That is some retro writing. So I can run that for eight. If anyone's interested in that, that would be really lightweight shipping. Good quality brass. Um, Next up, I do have the retro pin cushion, the turtles. I would run them together if you want or separate. I've got the one with the white eyes. Hello, welcome in. 
and the one with the red eyes. They're super duper cute. They are super retro. These ones I can run for, um, I can run these for 15 a piece. They are totally mid-century. Not a piece, sorry, together, 15 together. So let me know if you want any of that. It has a satin fabric or velvet, velvet fabric. They're really in great condition too. So we can do that. Um, what are you guys looking for exactly? If you want to look for anything actually. And then I do have a collectible Avon powder dish. I don't pick up Avon unless I know for sure that it will sell. Um, this one is one of them. Super cool. Um, you can recognize the powder dish is um, a collectible one. When you see the ones with the finial like this, the top part like that, that is an Art Deco style um, one. This one I can run for eight if anyone is interested in that. It's pretty large. You can use it as a candy dish or a bobby pin dish, which is what I have one for. <laughs> bobby pins. So we can run that one. Next up. This is my other Jewish one I have going on here. This is from the, the Jewish Museum. Look at the pewter on that. That is really cool stuff, you know, and it is, it is hefty, kind of heavy. Um, this one I would have to stick with 20 for. It's a collectible one. So I, I can't go any lower than that because I could probably resell that for a lot more than that so if anyone's interested in that um i could do 20 on that one the inside's nice and clean quite old would look great on a stack of books great on a stack of books the next thing i have is this poodle this poodle is going to run for 20 if anyone is interested in him he is actually really neat i paid eight dollars for him because he's adorable um he does have some wear on the paint up here. It's cold painted, so it came out pretty. Uh, it comes out, you know, quite a quite fast. So what did I say? Yeah, 20 for him. Um, it's chipped down here. It's missing a little bit of the frou-frou. But other than that, he's got maybe... A, no, that's not even a chip. Yeah, he's just in great condition. So if anybody, you know, besides that in the back there. So if anybody is interested in that, let me know. He will run for $20. $20 for the dog. Put him down here. Hello, Marigold Garden. Gothic witch. So as I'm showing that, I will show the cat. Uh, somebody asked me for shelf sitters, cat shelf sitters. I did bring one. So if you're in here. I have the one. I can run this one for eight if you're interested in that one. So dog, cat, 28. <laughs> There's those. Um, I have a Tanala frog. Hello, Ellen's Fines. Welcome in, friend. A frog, a Tanala frog, which I finally found one. Let's remove the sticker to make sure that there's no issues underneath no because sometimes they put the sticker there hey <laughs> to like mess it up you know to not mess it up what do you call it? hide with the the defects anyway it says made in mexico of course they wrote directly on it they wrote directly on a matted area so that really sucks hello melby and hr w1 cat welcome in hey <laughs> so this one i will be asking 18 anyone wants the little Tanala frog. He's got a little bit uh, under the glaze, a little bit of extra ceramic or whatever it is. Um, he's in pretty good shape. I'm surprised it doesn't say Ken Edwards because he just certainly looks like one. So he would run for 18 if anyone is interested in him. So that's cool. Um, what else? Holly Hobby, if she's still popular. She has a little bit of... Um, a scrape on her nose it says be, be glad you're you that's a nice thing to be i think that's adorable i mean that one i could just run for five if anyone's interested in her i think that's sweet something to give to someone who is maybe down and out like myself i'm just kidding um maybe the day the day that i they fired me on my, uh, last monday maybe that's when i needed this <laughs> not now though i'm happy be glad you're you. That's a nice thing to be. That's a sweet thing. And I usually don't pick up figurines, but 
that was such a nice thing. You know, you could buy some flowers for someone and then stick this in with it in a little basket or something. So I could run that for five. I've had her for about like four days now. So I have another one, I think. I have like two of them. All right. Um, somewhere. What else? Oh, I do have a Florida mug if anyone's interested in that. that those are um, those are pretty rare right now. Not rare, but they're they're good. They're good sellers, this one, the Florida one. So if you're in Florida, this would run for 12. I can run that one for 12. Okay. All right. And then I also have a little lamp I would be willing to ship. It's very little. Uh, it's very dirty. I just got it. I have to clean it. It needs a bath. Um, she's cool. She is definitely flash painted. I don't know if it works. That's the only thing. Um, I haven't tested it out because I refuse to put a light bulb in here and then set my entire house on fire. Uh, it's old. Pretty old. I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's not banged up or anything, but it's pretty old. Very old. So if anyone is interested in that, how much they give it? There was no price on it. I think they give it to me for $6.99. So, um, I could run this for 20. Anybody wants that? That's a good deal on that Victorian style. Just need a lampshade and a light bulb and the willingness to light it in your house. I would rewire it personally. So let me know if anyone wants that for 20. Um, all right, next up, I, next up, I have the metal frogger in there. There's a flower frog in there and it's in a cabana round wheel turned ceramic vase. So this one is says ink copyright on it. I don't know if it's mass produced, but it's super cool. I like the crinkle, the, what is it called? <laughs> crinkle. I don't know. It's super cool. I love it. Anyway, so this one I would run for, so I would run for nine. So I paid three for it. If anyone's interested in that, you can let me know. Oh, wait, I'm getting text messages. Hold on. Oh, oh, <laughs> all right. Let me go back to it. Yeah. So nine for that. If anyone wants that with the flower frog in it, what else is up in here? Let's see. Hello, Brenda. I'm just running stuff. Um, nothing's uploaded. I'm not really running anything. I'm just kind of showing. We're doing an unboxing. So I do have Willow Tree. Oh, hi. <laughs> this one's really cute for someone who really, really loves their dog. A boundless love. Um, this one I would run for nine if anyone's interested in that. I think that's a pretty good deal for that. I think it's sweet. A little dog. Nine for that if anyone's interested. Um, what else? I have... I don't know what is up with this owl. He's pretty worn though, but I still love him. He looks like a very old alabaster maybe. I don't know, but he is, he's kind of brutalist because he's rough. He's not soft at all. So I don't know if he was left out in the sun or what, or if he's supposed to feel that way, but he's kind of neat. Um, I did pay seven for him. It's a genuine alabaster, but like I said, I don't know what's up with him. He's got a lot of um, issues. No cracks or anything, just he's worn. Like the treatment that was on it has been worn down. But it is genuine alabaster. I would run this one for 10 if anyone is interested in that owl. Just because I paid seven for it. So the owl. And then let's see what else. What else should we show? I've got these things. These are cool if you're into linen. Um, it's vintage. I got it here, actually. This was an unboxing from whatnot. It says Mr. and Mrs. Just really cute. I think they're um, Linsuola. Oh, I'm speaking Italian again. Linsuola linens. And it looks like a like a standard pillow there is there any stains on there no but it's vintage and it says mister on this one I think this one says mrs 
<laughs> I, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this one says misses. It's kind of cute. Is there any issues on here? No, not really. I mean, there's a little bit of wornness on it, but it's vintage. Not wornness, but like, how do I explain it? It's kind of pretty. So if anybody wants this set, I can run it for 10 which is less than what I paid for it on whatnot because there were shipping and everything. So I think I ended up paying 28 but I thought it was so cute. And um, I was trying to help a seller out who wasn't really making, um, really didn't have a lot of people in there. So I was trying to help her out. She had like, just me. <laughs> it was just me. But I thought it was really cool. Really cool. So I picked it up. All right, let's, and these are the things that I thrifted today. This is really cool. This would run for 18. There is a um, little, I don't think it's a chip. I think it's paint loss right there. It's deep because I think the paint is pretty raised, but I see it from this angle and it's just a little paint loss. But it is a mid century um, plate, turkey plate, but look at the glaze on it. So I would run that for 18 if anyone is interested in that, even with the paint chip over here. The back has a felt. Hello, Gypsy Mom. Welcome, friend. Isn't that gorgeous though? With the with the MCM glaze. So if anyone's interested in that, let me know. I will run it. And then if there's any J names, I got a really cool anthropology mug. Yeah. Yes, sets. You want me to run it? I have a J Anthropology mug, which these are like the really good one. Good ones. Tea sets. Do I have any tea sets? I do. I have a miniature tea set. I will show it to you next. So I got that one for 18. Then the Anthropology mug. This one is their pottery one. So this one I would have to stick with 10 for that because a resale value for that is 35. So, and it, it actually sold for that much. So. Um, let me know if anybody needs a J anthropology mug that I would run for 10. What did I say? 10? Yeah, 10. All right. Tea set. I did thrift one. Where is it though? Is the question. Oh, here it is. Um, the only thing with this thing, I just literally got it, is that you would have to put a stack of books or like kind of twist the wicker basket because it's elevated there. So I'm thinking it just sat with something underneath it for quite some time. But if you open it up, so I paid, I paid $6.99 for it. Let me show you when you open it, what it looks like. I got this one in Miami. It's a Velcro opening. I just thought it was so cute. I had like a Minnie Mouse interior, you know, and inside are all of these really cute stuff. First, I'm going to show you what it has. It's got one napkin or tablecloth. <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> and um, no stains. And then I will show you the little, oh, it, no, it's got another, it's got two napkins after that. Or four napkins. Five. Five napkins. <laughs> it's like a bunch of surprises. And then here are the things in it. So the little stuff in it, I will show it to you anyway. Let me show you everything in it. It's actually really small. It's like miniature. It just looks bigger than it is. But it has a little spreader. And then you get a little fork. And then you get the ladybug, ladybug flyaway home saucers with the ladybug teacup. And there's um, two, three, let's see, four, set of four, and then let's see, saucers, and then you get the more forks, and you get lots of them actually, and spoons. <laughs> it's just like a whole set of stuff. The creamer with the ladybug on it. I just thought it was so cute for kids. And then you get the 
the sugar bowl with the topper on it. Adorbs. And then the teapot. Teapot. The teapot's super cute. And that's it. Oh my god, Jen's here. My sunroom chair, y'all. Please follow. This is my really great friend, Jen. She is here also. Um, my hair is in my way. I was trying to like put it on the side. She is here also on whatnot, and she's got great shows, so please make sure you bookmark it. Do you have any shows coming up soon, Jen? Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna just put it up in a bun. I was trying to like not break my hair any more than I have, and I said, well, let me put it up on a side ponytail. Maybe that would be better, but it's not working out. So let me know. Let us know if you have shows. Anybody, let your shows known. Let your shows be known. You have several scheduled? I gotta, I gotta go look. See, one of the reasons why I, it, I'm not coming into a lot of shows. It's not because I don't love you guys. It's just that I spent so much money. <laughs> so anyway, let me know anybody who wants this. I could run this one for, I could run it for 18, the whole set. It just has this elevation here. And that's from Miami. I was live thrifting when I got that. I was here on whatnot. All right. So 18 for that. Um, yeah. Oh, God. It's crazy. We buy too much. Kind of bummed. Uh, I have to get my wisdom tooth pulled out next week. And I've never had that done. And it's like impacted deep in my bones. So it's going to be a tricky one, they said. I'm like, great. Just put me to sleep. Just put me to sleep. You guys, look at this. Full of good mojo. I don't know what the price is at. Really? Would that really help? Because it's funny because right now if I eat if I eat it, then my tooth is very sensitive. Like right now I'm drinking my Starbucks, but it hurts. Ha <laughs> ha, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for helping. Thank you for helping me. Um, but mostly, thank you for, um, you know, you guys, I know you love vintage just as much as I do. That's really important to me. I would love to just be a vintage seller only because it's my passion. I want to sell everywhere. I sell on every platform you can imagine. And I can't name any of them, but any platform you can imagine I sell on. So I have daily sales, which is what I talk about on my YouTube. Like, there's something called List Perfectly, I think. You can use that. Um, it has not worked out well for me because I'm a control freak. And I have to list things myself. So I spent endless hours listing and doing stuff like that. Editing my pictures and making my YouTube videos. Like, you know, but, but I strongly, if you're a reseller, I strongly encourage you to list everywhere. Just remember where you list things, though. Because if you sell something somewhere, you don't want to get dinged for like not being able to ship an item because you sold it somewhere else if you sell it. You know what I mean? But <laughs> thanks, Jen. You're an inspiration to me. Your positivity is always so great. And I love the stuff in your shows. People really need to follow you. Check you out. Um, yeah. So you guys look, I don't know if you can notice it, but there is some separate shelves. We're going to have several. Oh, yeah. That's what we did. We, we bought a bunch of shelves at Ikea. But yes, yeah, so anyway, I don't know what the price is at because I don't know who made it. It just says full of good mojo. But look how well done the owl is. So I don't know. If you guys like that, shoot me an offer. But I really just don't know what the price it at yet. So that's really cool. I got that today. Um, also, if you're into the style of Italian Florentine, I found a wallet. I found a Florentine wallet, which is crazy. Genuine leather made in Italy. And uh, let's make sure there's no money in it. No, there's no money. Wait a minute. Let's make sure. Nah. I did find a $5 bill one time in a wallet. But anyway, so if you're into Florentine, I do have this one that I can sell to you. Wait a minute. What happened? Did something fly out of it? I don't get it. Oh, wait a minute. The little fork came out of that thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. How do you close it? I really thought there was a 
I thought there was like something that closed it. Now it's not there. You know what I'm talking about? Like, how did I close that? That's weird. Something must have jumped out. I don't know. I can't sell that because I don't know where the closure is. You know what I'm saying? I might have came out. Yeah, somewhere in here. Somewhere around me. So let's not look at that yet. Let's not look at it. All right, what else is in this bag? Okay, I do have a Hager vase. I'm asking 30 for it. If anyone is interested, it's kind of one of the rare blue ones. Um, I did pay up. I paid nine bucks for it, which it's in really great condition. Um, it does say Hager on the bottom. It does say Hager on the bottom. A really, really good condition. So let me know. Retro, atomic style, vintage. Pretty large. See my head? Hello, welcome in everyone. I see ya. So let me know if anyone's interested in that. I can run that for 30. No, no less than 25. So if anybody's on the fence about it, you can let me know. I'll run that for 25. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for the share. It's so sweet. So nice. What else did I got in here? They wouldn't let me open this baggie at the register. I'm like, well, all this glass could be broken. And she's like, if you open it, you buy it. I'm like, these thrift stores are out of their mind. Aren't they? I mean, they're crazy. Anyway, let's see if anything's broken. Let's see what's in it. They're, I guess they're salt sellers. This one is really great. I don't know. Who makes it? Of course, there's a chip on it. Of course, because there is. I guess it's a salt seller. I really love it. I don't mind the chip, though. I can use that for my rings. I personally don't mind it for myself. Let's see if all the other ones have chips on it. You know, I'm, I'm like kind of wondering if it's Baccarat. I mean, there are flea bites on it, naturally, because of the, the way they were placed on the in the bag. There's another one. No flea bites on that one. Just, I guess they're salt cellars, right? They look like it. They're like little trinket dishes. Yeah, pricing. and Oh, my God, look at this one. Pricing and shoving things in baggies. But, you know, I like them. They're quite old. I checked them for glowy in the store. They didn't glow. No EAPG here. I mean, EAPG is how you know things. If it glows, then you know it's early American pattern glass. But don't get it twisted because very, very, very early ones may not glow. So some people will tell you, oh, well, you know, it's EAPG if they glow under UV light. No, not all the time. If it's very, very, very early, it might not glow. So there's these little trinket dishes. I don't know if anybody wants any of them. And here's another one. I don't think they're trinket dishes. These are great for like putting the acetone or whatever in them when you're at the nail salon, you know, and they're doing your nails. <laughs> and you could put like, you know, to do the acrylics. Amy Perrin is in here also, you guys. Please follow Amy Perrin. My sunroom chair, Amy Perrin, are good friends of mine. They are so sweet and have great shows. Lots and lots of fun. This is a... um. So they all have like very miniature little flea bites on them. Hello, Amy. Look, Amy, I got my nails done while I was on the phone with you. But they did a pretty good job because I'm going to do a blue show soon. So I did a little bit of blue. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. I showed him a picture of vintage nails. And he's like, I can do it. I was like, really, Ted? His name is Ted. So I was like, all right, go for it. Oh, you know, it got to the point where... Like, I hate getting my nails done because I feel like all that time I'm sitting there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jen. I like the little blue heart. I figure all the time that I'm sitting there getting my nails done, I could be listing or something. <laughs> so I wish I could, like, you know, hire someone to just do it while I'm sleeping at night. <laughs> I haven't made it. I haven't made it to that kind of money yet. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. Um, So they had to remove all of my nails and do a whole new set because uh, they were just so bad. <laughs> He's like, they're all lifted. So if I don't do that, like you're going to get water underneath and then you'll, you're going to get mold. And I was like, I don't want that. 
You pulled yours off. Ellen, my guy would hate you if you did that. He hates me so much that I do it every time. And he goes, stop pulling it off. You are ruining your nails. I'm like, well, I don't have time to sit here with one nail. I'm a YouTuber. I have, and I'm on here. I can't give you guys bad nails. It's the first thing people notice. I mean, I do. I really, I really do notice fingernails on whatnot. And every, I'm like, yeah, you can get the, they call it greenies. The greenies. I'm opening this bag. This one is very, you guys, they ran out of paper to wrap my stuff. And they just kind of threw everything in. I was like, if I go home and any of these things are broken, I'm going to be so upset. So let's cross our fingers that nothing is broken. This might make a comeback to the blue show if I don't sell it. I believe it is an Empoli. Um, this one would run for 40 if anyone is interested in that. That is an electric blue Empoli. So 40 is a pretty darn good deal for that. It's almost like that blue neek color. Blue neek. And then let's see what else we've got going on. So 40 for that. Anything you guys see that you want, just say run, okay? Because I'm just, I'll show you everything again as time goes. So that one, so far, so far, um, I'm showing you just stuff that was on the outside. At least have clean hands and some rain. Yeah, I know. The worst for me is, um, like, if I see any kind of black under the nails, I'm just like, here's some toothpicks. Dig in there. Just get it. You know, I understand yellow nails because I understand that's the condition. But also, if you're dealing with curry or if you're dealing with turmeric, you know, you might have yellow nails. And that's very hard to, you know. <laughs> Look at this topper. This comes with a bottle. I don't know how old this is, but it is pretty fantastic. Oh. It's pretty fantastic. It's a mercury glass bottle. And that's the topper for it. So, I don't know. I think that's so gorgeous. That's definitely going to make it on a container show. Like, I'm going to do a container show. I'm trying to do color-coded shows. So, I'm doing a blue show. Maybe my next one will be purple, red. I don't know. You know? I have a bunch of stuff. So, look how great this decanter is. If anyone is interested in that, I could do... Um, I can run this one for 30 That one I would run for 30 Oh, thanks, Ellen. Ellen, um, check out the mom and pop places. And you can, you know, you guys can do retail arbitrage if you're a reseller. You know, I mean, I do. Sometimes I go to Home Goods and I, I wait for their sales and I resell those things. I don't claim that they're vintage, but I just resell them. I just say what they are. Look what I did here. I found something cool. I wonder, I wonder what kind of dark soul painted this this is amazing they didn't sign it it also looks airbrushed i think that's fantastic this one would run for 18 if anyone is interested in that i do believe that is an artist made piece and maybe the signature is somewhere in there but i don't see it it's fantastic it's also airbrushed in the background so 18 for that, if anyone's interested in that. Also, if you think of something, like somebody, a couple of people did this on my last show. They messaged me like, hey, do you still have this? Do you have, yeah, you, you can. Next up, I have this one. This is so cool. I did pay up. I paid five for it. So I would ask, um, I would ask 12 for it. He's a nutcracker and in really great condition. Um, so you just put the, I think he's a nutcracker, right? You put the nut inside and then you screw it and it cracks open. But anyway, yeah, 12 for that one. Is that what I said? I think I said 12. So if anyone wants that, just say run. I will run it. Let's unbox some more. I found these. They're really cool. They're like folk art. I have no idea. But there's like a whole bunch of them. So let's see. Let's open it up. Okay, I promised you guys I would do unboxing. Because you you might want something. I just like to show you what I've got. Um, 
trying to get this out. Well, let's take the middle one out because she comes right out. Anyway, they look like cookies. They're not. <laughs> I guess you just hang them somewhere. But anyway, I think they're Austrian. Let's see. Hand painted in Austria. Somebody must have passed away and, and donated all their Austrian stuff. There was tons of Austrian stuff today. Look at the pig. Super cool. I would run them separately. They would be um, $6 a piece. And I could bundle them. So I can run them for seven uh, for 17 for 16 for all three. If you're interested in those. They've got they look like sugar cookies. Like the way they created them, and they feel like it too. So there's that. What else we got in here? This one I swore was like a Roseville or some kind of thing, but I don't know. It says from the Trenton Pottery. I love it. It's got that Tiffany blue look. Robin's egg. It's not in bad shape whatsoever. But, you know, shells are very popular right now. Yeah, I know. It's so cool, Jen. And it's not even... um. It's not chipped or anything. It's just got wear to it. It's pretty old. So if anyone is interested in that, I could do 20 on that one. Okay, and let me pull out some more stuff. I've got a lot of stuff to go through. That's stuff behind me, too. These things behind me, some of them have to go out tomorrow. A couple of them, they're sales, so I have to look at my slips. Then I got this guy. Let me... See if I can get the tape off of them. Hi, welcome in, baby girl and sparkle. Get this out. I just really like that elephant. It is Art Deco. This one I can run for 10 if anyone is interested. No, it's not marked. I have no idea why. It is definitely vintage. It should be marked because it's really good quality. That one I would run for 10 if you're interested in that. Elephant. And then um 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 this one. I love it. I was like screaming, um, singing, driving to the thrift store today. I was like, it's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. I rolled out my window and I was like, I am free. I was like, hi, Austina. Hello, Jazz Flow. I was like, I am free of the chains of corporate. Like I started screaming and people are just looking at me. I was like, <laughs> and they were just like, <laughs> hi. Yeah, I would have. Oh my God, it was so much fun. And then I treated myself to a virgin pina colada. Ooh. <laughs> I don't drink, so I was just like, <sighs> it was so good. Thanks, Ellen. I was like, it was like out of a sitcom. I was just like grabbing people by, like grabbing people, just like going up to them and going, hey, guess what? I am free from corporate. <laughs> they don't even know me. <laughs> yeah. And I was just singing in sync because that is like my, that puts me in a good mood all the time. Adam and I both scream, sing in sync all the time. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but this is a forest green lacquered bowl in amazing condition with some hints of orange in it. it oh, there it is. You can kind of see it. It's a pretty fantastic bowl. Look at, there's that orange. It's coming through. And I put like my camera phone with the light on it at the store and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna buy this I did pay up for it I did pay $9.99 for it but it was worth it so um I'll take offers on that if anyone wants that I could I would put a big metal frog in there but I wouldn't want to ruin the thing is I wouldn't want to ruin the lacquered on it that's a good quality vase pot that is a good quality one um, somebody on here or maybe the other platform asked me if I had any Murano sun catchers or, uh, you know, um, paperweights and I had four of them. I sold them here on, um, here on whatnot. I have to be careful not to mention the other platform, but I found one more. I do have one more. It is Murano. I guess it said it at the, um, antique mall. I had taken it to another antique mall, Cooper City Antique Mall. And they said it. they had sold several of them. They had seen several of them that were called Murano also. So I'm rolling with that. It doesn't have any sticker, but 
But if anyone wants that, I can do that one for 20. It kind of looks like a little squid. It's really pretty. It is a little hollow, but it's so thick that, you know, but we can do 20 for that if anyone's interested in it. Just let me know. Let me know. Um, let's open more stuff. I know I had a buyer for Kakadu. Somebody did like Kakadu. This is his brand. Kakadu. And I found one. Found a piece. I love their artsy stuff. There's plenty of them. Hello, welcome in. There's plenty of them um, in Florida. People love Kakadu here. So placemats sell really well for me. I got that. So if anyone's interested in the Kakadu, I can do 15 for that. Hey, welcome in, you guys. I'm just kind of showing stuff that I thrifted. And then um, I can go over again afterwards if you guys see anything that you like. Okie dokie. All right. <laughs> Don't mean to do the drinking sounds. <laughs> All right. Next up, I have this frog. Let me just remove the sticker to see if it's going to pull any of the paint off because I don't want to sell it to you. And then, you know, I pull off the paint and then it's, no, it does not taking off the paint. So that's good. Wait till you still see this box. I don't know if it's made in Indonesia. Usually there's a sticker, but he's painted so wonderfully, so whimsically. Uh, I, I love him. It's like folk art. It's a folk art box. Super cute. If you're into frogs, I just love the colors. And being from Florida, I really do love tropical colors a lot. Yeah, super cute, Jen. I love it. Um, this box would run for 12 if anyone is interested in it. Really, really cool box. Maybe I should run stuff. I'm like running nothing. Maybe some people don't even want to talk. Like, hey, can you run that? Maybe people don't want to hear that. They just want to bid. All right, next up, I got miniature Romer glasses. So we're going to take them off here. It says made in Germany. We're going to take them out of their insane amount of paper or tape. We're going to take a look and admire miniature Romer glasses. If you guys know me, you know I love me some Romer. I love the beehive pattern. I paid $9.99 for the set. It's worth way more than that. And not to mention how beautiful they are. It's worth looking at. Let's look. If anybody is a collector... Oh, I'm stuck. I'm, my finger's stuck. If anyone's a collector of Romer, I think maybe you need these in your life. Unless you already have the miniature ones. I'm going to just take it out because I need to know if there's any chips before I going off. If somebody wants it and then I'm selling it to you and it's like chipped. Gosh, they really wrapped it. All right, let me see. Let me find the entrance to this. <laughs> um, you guys, check out my latest video on YouTube. That was a lot of fun. That trip was really great. I found something that was worth like over $200. Like when I say worth, I mean, I actually sold for that much. So that was an insane day. Um, most of that stuff I already flipped that day. I'm um, from that day. So, um, oh God, this is really on there pretty good. Let me try here. One second. Oh, don't break the glass. Well, there's one little one. That was a task. How cute. And it has a little made in Germany. I have a bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm going, I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to edit the Renninger's one that I went with Kat. Kat the nurse flipper, y'all. She is fantastic. She already put hers out from that day. Um, like two months ago. And I was editing mine. And then when I tried to upload it, it wouldn't upload. It said there was a corrupted file. Problem is, I didn't know where the corrupted file was. So I had to delete my five days of editing work. And I was bitter about it and I wasn't going to do it. But um, I'm going to do it. It was a good day. I'm going to edit it. And if it's corrupted again, then I give up. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with any of these. These are so cute. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Let me pull this one off. Please don't break. Please don't break. No chips, no cracks on them. 
I'm, I just, I have an obsession with miniature things. So yeah, so here's three miniature Romer glasses. They're cordials. I would assume they're cordial glasses. But I've just never seen them like that with a little mini beehive. It's adorable. So got that. Let's see what else we got. If I were to run those, I think I would run them for, um, I'd probably run them for 40 for the set of four. They're pretty unique find. All right. What? Oh, oh no. Can I just break it? <laughs> okay. I do have a piece of Polish pottery here. Unicat Polish Boleslavic basket. Really, really adorable. This would run for 10 if anyone is interested in that. You know, you could put little things in there. I don't know what you would put in it. But little Polish pottery can run that for 10. If anybody collects. I do. I collect. Then I have a little, I think this is Murano, but I could be wrong. We could say in the style of Murano. Uh, Millie Fury Lapin. French for bunny. <laughs> This one I can run for 10 if anyone's interested in him. Just start off at 10. Just say run if you want any of them. Okay, so we'll put them on the side. This unboxing is really, I had no idea the amount of stuff I had. I have a lot of stuff. Okay, wait a minute. It's getting better. Oh gosh, what's in here? Oh, I found these, and I thought this was really unique. I had no idea that Banana Republic had home stuff. Did you guys know that? I found a set of three Banana Republic plates. Or maybe they're not plates. I don't know what they are. Trinket dishes? But they're, like, in the style of Bill Campbell, which I thought was really cool. So I think those will pretty much, those will resell, resell pretty well. Um, I could probably run, I could probably, um, you know, list them for about 60 bucks. So here I would probably do 40. I did pay eight for it, but I, the value of it, uh, I think 40 for whatnot is pretty good. Why not? What not? Why not? I'm getting all these things from Palm Beach. This was all from Palm Beach County today. I rescued this. I know that it's devalued because there's a couple chips. There's one right there. There's one right there. It's not that bad, that one, though. There's one right here. But I think that it is... I can't read it. Do you guys know who makes that? Does anybody know who makes that? Does that look familiar to you? So if it does, I found a good piece. It feels like a good piece. No idea. But anyway, really, really beautiful piece. I will take offers on that. I did pay three. If anybody wants that, just shoot me an offer so I can go to a good home. Um, really pretty. I mean, it'll stay here until I sell it. Beautiful piece. Old. Almost reminds me of Roseville or what's that other one that looks like Roseville forget the name of it now. All right. Um, it kind of looks, you know, like California pottery. All right. Um, this was a cool find. Very cool find. Jen, if you're in here, this goes with the thing that I bought from you. Look at, oops, did I just totally like shift you guys? Okay. Look at this. You know what that is? <laughs> this is a really good piece. That's an Italian pot. So this is, uh, just a really good find. It's very old. Um, I paid $12.99 for it. Um, uh, I would run that for $40 if anybody's interested in that. I think it goes for more than that. Um, so I brought it up to the register and I was like, can you, she goes, it's $12.99. And I was just like, no, it's $2.99 or $3.99. I was like, the sticker says that she goes, people change a sticker all the time. So she said, look at the bottom and the bottom says $12.99. So I was like, all right, I was going to buy it anyway, because I'm sure I can resell that for a good amount. Anyway, that's a really great texture. So next up, 
I have another bag filled with things that they didn't wrap. <laughs> um, I have some dishes that are Polish pottery. This one I would run for 15 if anyone is interested in it. I wonder if it's a hen and nest Polish pottery and this is the nest, but I think it might also be a um, trinket dish, maybe. I have no idea, but I would run that for 15. Boloslavic. That someone from Austria passed away and someone from Poland passed away. <laughs> I think there was a lot of Polish and Austrian stuff. Um, but then there's this also, which is just awesome. I love that one. That one too, I would run for 15 if anyone's interested in that. Then I have this crazy owl here that I would run for 30. He is a mid century owl. And really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. He's got his, uh, he's not signed that I can see. He's stoneware. I like fat birds. I always pick up fat birds. So 30 for him is what I would run him for, for a mid-century piece. Just love the texture. He's so smooth. He looks like he'd be rough, but he's not. The fingers were imprinted to make the, I mean, it must've been really fun when they made this, um, to make the feather like all around him. So 30 for that, if anyone's interested. What else do we open up? Um, lots of stuff today, lots of things. Oh, I have, this is a collectible. I had to pick it up because, you know, I don't know if it's Bakelite, it might not be. It might be celluloid, I don't, I have no, I don't know. When you look at them online, it's going to say celluloid. They sold for like 30, 40, really crazy. I'm not going to do that. If anybody wants this, I can run it for 20 because I paid two for it. And honestly, I'm not an Avon fan. So if anybody wants that, it's got the cameo behind. So pretty cool thing. Thanks, Jen, for coming in and stopping by. Everyone, please follow Jen, Amy Perrin, and Jen, my sunroom chair, and get some good sleep. And you know I will text you tomorrow with something exciting. Something exciting. <laughs> but take care. <laughs> Next up, I have these vintage towels that I thrifted. Um, let me see if I can. They are pretty cool. They are Southwestern style. I've got two of them. They're pretty much hand towels. They're really, really great. This one I would run for 12 for both. They are vintage towels. And I do believe that they are vintage. Maybe they're Ralph Lauren. I think I've seen similar patterns before, but that's just really cool. So I can do 12 for the set of two towels if you're into Southwestern art. All right, Amy, I will run the towels. Uh, just to let you know, there's just a little pull right here. If you want, I can go ahead and cut it or I can leave it alone. You, it's fine. Okay. Um, by the way, that Sully that I bought from you, the knit, the knitted Monsters Inc. thing, somebody wants to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> on another platform i'm like i'm like emotionally attached to it because they bought it from you but i don't know i have to think about that i'm gonna price it at like 200 dollars because i don't want to sell it <laughs> he's so cute with his scab wounds on the back uh, towels um i'm just gonna put southwest or southern I see it, 12, okay. Okay. Yeah, they're they're nice. They're just hand towels, and they're nice and clean. They actually smell clean because it looks like they probably cleaned it. Yeah, it is so cute. But, yeah, so these are running. Um, these are will run soon. Running for 12 for 20 seconds if anyone's interested. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, this would actually look really good in your – where you're from your city i mean your um state because i know they have i remember staying at a hotel there 
And uh, we were actually, no, we were in Breckenridge and we stayed at a Best Western Lodge and it was like a cabin that they bought out. And all the towels were like this style. Thanks, Amy. This is coming to you. I will send this out tomorrow, friend. I really appreciate that. I can't wait to meet up with you in Springfield. Right now it's like 99.9% .9 we're going to go. It's a 16-hour drive, <laughs> but we're going to do it. Hi, Thrifty Dragonfly Inspire State. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, so those are perfect. <laughs> um, great. All right. So pretty much ran everything. Did I run everything? Well, I have stuff in this. I have paperweights. You guys want to see paperweights? This one's just kind of cool. It's like peach shaped, which kind of tells me it's Chinese, but it's just cool because they do a lot with peaches. <laughs> Good night, Ellen. I know it's Monday night. Monday nights are rough. But see, I'm like ugh, wired because I just drank so much coffee, even though I'm not supposed to. But just a really cool piece. Um, this one I would run for, I would run this one for eight if anybody's interested in that one. Just a really cool piece. Love it. I have more. I have a neodymium, which means uh, it does change colors, but this one I would have to stick with the 50 because it's worth about like $100. Sweden, it's made in Sweden and it changes colors. It's that neodymium. So I'd have to do uh, 50 on that. Um, and there's even the sticker. Uh, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's purple. But yeah. It is gorgeous. It was a good find. I found this, I think, at an estate sale. You know, well, in Spire State, this is where we need Jocelyn, crazy lamp lady. She would know that. I really don't know. I think it's just in the chemicals in it. I, I don't know. But it is cool. Um, sometimes I leave it in the sun and it's pink in the sun. And I even saw a little bit of orange the other day. Um, Adam sees pink all the time. But if he saw it now, he would see that it's purple lives in Sweden. Oh gosh. I have a good friend. Um, he lives right next to the Costa Boda factory and I'm thinking I need to visit him and do a YouTube video. Thanks Amy. Thank you so much for your bid. I will send that out tomorrow. Everyone please follow Amy Perrin. She is very sweet. We are going to do a train together soon in May. So look out for that. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So Sweden's cool. I love all my Scandinavian friends and he loves the fact that I love um, Scandinavian art. I think that it tickles him because I, I'm always talking about it. And for him, he's like, you don't get it. Like, that's like normal for us here. He's like, I'm amazed at what you have in America. And I'm like, I'm amazed at what you have in Scandinavia. And it's just like so awesome. But anyway, so if anybody wants that, I will go ahead and pin it. It is pretty huge. And I will run that for 50. Brass or copper? I might. I do. I have like stuff on the shelves, but not brass. Let me see. I have a brass English trinket dish if you're interested in that. But, um, you know, it's really, really, it's just a trinket dish. But is there anything particular that you're looking for? Because I'm going to think if I have it, just any. Yeah, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to get up and show you that in a minute. So I do have the bear. I have the bear also. And I thought he was a back rat. He really felt like one. And then I go, no, he feels like Indiana glass. And I went back and forth, which is totally two different things. You're talking crystal and you're talking glass. But anyway, the bear is really cute. I did pay $4 for him recently. Um, this one would run for 8 if anyone's interested in the bear, there are no chips or cracks. I just kind of like animals in motion, figurines where they look like they're in motion. So $8 for that one, if anyone's interested. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to go grab a whole bunch of um, brass that I think I have. I do have a Baccarat. That one I would have to stick with 80 though. So. It's oh, not a back rat. That's a little leak. I do have a back rat in here, though. So the little leak for 80. That one changes colors also. All right. So let me get up out of this whole mess here. Oh, I have this here if you're interested in this. I was running it for nine. 
That's uh, Israeli brass with a verdigree. And it has the retro writing of Holy Land on it. It says made in Israel. Verdigree is that, you know, that green that they do. So I can run that for nine if you're interested in that. And then <laughs> let me get up and see what else I have. I'm going to take you guys with me, though. Boop, boop, boop. Let me unplug. What a mess I've created here. Look at my, you guys, look at my mid-century modern Drexel table that I thrifted for $40. I am asking $1,300 for it or offers. I mean, can you believe that? I got it at Goodwill. It was the first thing I saw when I walked in. Sorry, guys, give me a second. It takes me a minute to get up. This old lady can't do it. She can't do it. Oh, God. Isn't it so nice? I love it. Okay. I can do this. You can do this, Sam. Okay. All that stuff down there will be in the blue show that we're going to do. All right. Lots of stuff here. That's my workspace. <laughs> I do everything there. All right. Brass. Okay. Oh, Solis, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Oh, that's my girl. She's so nice. Thank you. Um, I have some cool brass pieces. Really like when people ask me. Thank you. So sweet for brass because for for a while there nobody was ever asking for brass. <laughs> Thank you. This one's quite dirty, so I'm gonna have to like clean it. They do have that's a mariner thing. Any egg cups or small things that could be a planter. Oh yeah, I have a lot of things like that. I'll go to the shelves. Um, where else? Oh, for that? Well, this one I valued it at at least like 50, but I can do 40 for you if you'd like. If you look online, they sell for like 100. They're like, it's real. Uh, I could do 40 for that. I would clean it up, but not take out the patina. You probably want it. You could think on that one. That's a good piece. Oh, no problem, Inspire. I'll find other things. I have some of the more expensive brass pieces, like a Frederick Wein Weinrich. It's a real one. Here's another one. The problem is I find the expensive stuff, and it's hard to bring on whatnot. <laughs> I don't even show, like, the ex extreme expensive stuff unless you guys want to. We are going to do a luxury train for people who are uh, <laughs> really looking for that kind of stuff and that's going to happen at the end of May. See, I even have Swedish candle holders. Those are crazy. Those for the set I would have to ask 50 for those. Okay, let's go down here. Heat, I've got some brass candle holders here that I just thrifted. These are really good. Um these I can do for 15 if you're interested in that. I paid 7.99 for them. So we can do 15 for those. I love them. They're so cute and little. He looks like brass, the monkey, but he is cast aluminum, I believe. Cast aluminum. He is 20. He is 20. Hello, Anita. Um, let's see. They do have, there's like a Tanala. I have some stuff there. Let me move my mid-century to me um, table. <laughs> so I can get back there and show you some brass. Did I miss the trinket dish? I did. I'll go back and show you it. I'm just going to move stuff out of the way. Adam stayed over his dad's house tonight so I can be loud. Call me daddy. Hello, call me daddy. I forgot to show you this. Look at the patina on this sucker. It's crazy. It's made in England and it's pretty old, I think. It says made in England. This one I can do for 20 you're interested it's very heavy and that is old probably antique so 20 for that one and then let's see the thing is I try not to buy like cheap brass because it doesn't sell so the brass that I tend to have is like a little pricey like I have Michael Aram here too I found this is a really rare Michael Aram you literally cannot find it anywhere online <laughs> Like, if it didn't have a writing, I would never know it was a Michael Aram. I have a brass pelican I can do for 15 I mean, I paid, I don't know, like 9 for the baggie and he was in there. 
it's a pelican on basket kind of situation. That's really neat. Hi, welcome in everyone. I see you. I'm not doing shop my shelves, but <laughs> if you like anything. Um, yeah. And then I found an antique uh, taper candle holder. That's old pewter. Thought that was really neat. I don't know what's all the white stuff. Peter gathers all this white stuff after a while. Yeah, that's cute. The pelican. Um, it is. I have a brass bell that's pretty old. That one I could probably do for eight. Bells don't sell quick for me, so I could probably do that one for eight. It looks like a school bell. But look at the finial. That's really why I bought it. Thought that was really cool. I like bells. I have some more brass here. Um, it's a dancing couple, Israeli. Looks like the Ouija board um, <laughs> thing, you know. Kind of looks like that. Um, any more brass down here? Uh, silver overlay. And then any egg cup dishes. Um, I mean, I have a lot of things that are like dishes. Oops, that you could put. Let's see, I thrifted this. I thought somebody might want it. It's just Shanitoba on it. I can run that for five if anyone's interested. I have these. Um, Inspire, would you be interested in these oriental ones? Oh, air plants? Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. I'll be on the lookout for those. I think I have some on my shelf. But I have these oriental ones. But uh, I got them recently, but not your style. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. I'm trying to think. <laughs> You're absolutely welcome. You're welcome. Maybe there's something beyond. Look at, look at this mess. <laughs> the funny thing is I promise everything's clean. It's just that I have a lot of stuff. No, no, I'm glad you did because I was like kind of hurting on the flat floor. Let me move the clothing. Ah. And I pretty much ran everything, or I didn't run anything, but showed everything. I sell clothes also. <laughs> so if anyone's interested in clothes, let me know. I will show you them. See, vintage clothing. Some of it's my own, but see, I have an anthropology dress. Um. All right, I will turn around slowly. Things for air plants. Oh, I have a, I have one flower frog left. If anyone needs it, those things sell all the time. There's a platform that I, every time I show a flower frog, it just sells. I do have a glassy baby that I found. I found three glassy babies. I have found three of them. Um, for air plants. So I'm looking for brass and air plant stuff. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Hello, Kimberly Proud. Welcome. Um, I have some brass teapots if you need them. One of them I was trying to clean real hardcore and then I just left it. Um, I could do 70 for the glassy baby. I was gonna put it up for like 90. Um, well. I have both. One has a lid and one doesn't. Are you looking for both? Because I can do the both for 20 or I can do the one for 10. Yeah, I can do both for 20. The The handles are really cute. One doesn't have a topper on it, though. This is the one I cleaned. Okay. That's the one I cleaned. It was so rough. I hope you don't mind that I cleaned the patina. Patina's still there, though. And then this one's cute because you could put a plant on them, on that. I just like the handle. It was like Dolph's blue. All right. I will take photos of it. Add photo teapots. Pair. Can do them for 20. Publish. Yeah, I like teapots. I buy them quite often. We'll run them for 20 for 20 seconds for the both. You can run them low because I have them a lot. Um, I always get them. 
Um, the one on the left comes from Wilton Manors. The one on the right comes from Orlando. <laughs> Different places in Florida. Thank you so much for your bid, Inspire. I will leave it there. And then I'll definitely come back and grab them. Um, looking for stuff for an air plant. <laughs> You're welcome. You're so welcome. Um, some things on here I have to be careful selling because I got from Jocelyn and... I don't want to sell them. Um, would little mugs do for air plant holders? <laughs> I don't know. Let me move this couch without breaking anything because I can get behind it. It's down here. I'm running out of stuff. These I know it looks like it's all packed, but there was more there was more on the shelves. Um yeah. I don't know. I guess I don't have. Oh, well, I have. I mean, these are brass. I have two of them. Um, these I'd have to run for 20 for the pair. I have two. Because I paid eight bucks for each one. So, if anybody's interested in that, that is brass verdigree. Yeah, super cute. Um,. I have uh, one of these. It does have some candle wax, but it is a brass snuffer. And that one I can run for 10. That's an antique one, I think. It might be really cool. You know, put your candles out. It does have wax all over it. But I thought it was cute. I'll eventually clean it. Well, I'm not really long. Maybe like 10 inches or less. Let's see. That's the size of my pillow. I just like the swirl, believe it or not. That's what my favorite part was, not even the flower. <laughs> I think it's super cute. So I can run that for 10. Um, these, I have a lot of them, if anyone's interested in this. I mean, I can run that for six. You know. Um, I have a Jonathan Adler piece there. Unicorn, I have, or if there's anything in particular anyone is looking for, just shout out words like unicorn, horse. That, oh, that's easier for me because then I can just look for it. I have a caviar dish. I have some dogs up there. Um, that's a silver candle holder. There's a brass, um, see that wood piece? There's some brass stars in there. Just trying to think. Adam's dad's house is where I have most of my brass. Wood items. Oh, you're in luck. I got a lot. Um, that right there, that little vase over there would probably be good for an air plant. Um, I have like small vases if the person that was looking for that. But that's cocoa wood. It'll feel like resin, but it's not. It's actually cocoa wood. Which is the type of wood, I guess. And then I have um, that hen and nest is really cool back there, too. That's a unique one. I don't know if it's a project piece. Oh, and speaking of wood. Hi, Shauna Treasure. Treasures and art. How are you? Treasures and art. <laughs> I just figured out how to say your name. Um, those cross hill. I think they're cross hill. Oh, no, Cornwall. Cross hill. Candlesticks price. Well, let's see what I paid for them. $2.99 for the pair see i can run the pair for i can run the pair for 18. those that grain is really and seriously good so 18 for the pair has brass inserts just because that's the value of them are like 40 bucks if you're interested in those um i do have the hen and nest Right there, that's the, somebody had asked me for it and then something happened to their phone and they didn't bid. And then I tried to remember who it was and I couldn't because when you go back to look, it's like you can't see who it was. So I do have a Cassia wood trinket bowls. Um, these are kind of cool. I could run these for six if anyone's interested in those. Those are mid-century. They're teardrop shaped. Six for the pair. Candlesticks 18, six for those. Um, I do have these, which are kind of cool. Hi, Jill. For the acacia wood? Yeah, those are cool. It has a little bit of wear, but nice to see you. 
How's the weather? <laughs> I'm going to Ohio in May for the extravaganza, and I'm, I'm nervous that it's cold because I, I got really sick in the cold last time. Acacia trinket dishes. Last time I went to Nashville, um, which was a few weeks ago. Um, anytime any kind of cold hits me, I just, <sighs> I get sick. Um, let's see. Publish. Cold today, but warm tomorrow. Started getting items lined up for Sunday's train. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so much fun. Please, you guys, share your shows anytime you want here. I would be so happy to read them, uh, see them, and I want other people to see them also and follow each other. Bookmarked, yeah. Let me make sure I bookmarked it. Let's see. View profile, show, bookmark. I'm just going to bookmark those two shows. <laughs> I was like, all your shows, but I'm going to bookmark the two that I see. Awesome. We'll definitely run six for 20 seconds for the pretty acacia bowls. Thanks, Jill. Appreciate you. Inspire. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to do that at least once a week, but it really is exhausting, isn't it? And especially my thrift stores where there's like no air conditioning. Yeah. It's just like my feet hurt. I don't know why. Because you're trying to look at your phone and then look at, looking at the shelves. But when Adam's with me, I'm less stressed. Uh, South Florida. Thank you so much, Jill. You're going to love these. They're so rustic and cool. They're one of the very first things I thrifted when I first started. Oh, Texas. Yeah, I love Texas. So I'm hoping that you watch my friend Lady Mary Beth on YouTube. She is awesome. She's fantastic. She's from Texas. See, she likes this brand, James Avery, because he's from Texas. It's my, yeah, I get it, Shauna. I, I, trust me, I get it. <laughs> yeah. You guys, they do have a whole bunch of animals in here. <laughs> I can run these for five. I think I got the whole baggie for five, but that's okay. I don't know why I got them. I was hoping that somebody might want them. They're all vintage. Look at this. <laughs> Does anybody want all of these for five? They're all like old farm animals. <laughs> I thought they were really cute. <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff like that. I even have frogs, if you're looking for frogs. I like grab all the baggies with the little animals in it. This one's really fun. The glassy baby somebody was asking, I said 70 for it. <laughs> yeah, some of them are, they almost feel like rubber, <laughs> but they're, oh wait, there's writing on it. Wait a minute, what does it say? I can't read it. Yeah, they're they're plastic, but they're in good shape. <laughs> Wait, let me grab the one, my favorite one, this one. This is my favorite one. Oh, are they? I don't know where they're from. I thought they were great, but I like the chicken. <laughs> I don't know. Real cute. Zoo gift shops. I have two cans salt and pepper shakers. Um, I like two cans. Oh, and let me know, you guys, if you want um, Polish pottery, because I have I have a couple of them. Um, I have two soap dishes. I think they're soap dishes for $15 a piece. And then I have this. I just love this cup. It's so damn cute because I love cardinal birds, and I think those are cardinal birds on them. Um, yeah. I could run that for um, 10 if anyone wants to see them, wants me to run that. So beautiful and bulbous. Can I see the soap dish? Yeah. I will show you them both. So 15 a pair both, but if you buy both, I could do 25. Um, I like to do it's a brand of Cornwall. I like to do the combo um what do you call deals if you guys want them. Well, let's try to find them. Um, gosh. <laughs> I'll find them, Jill. I'll find them. I can bundle them, sure. Um, if I find them. We didn't sell them. This goes to Amy. She bought those. Where are they? Oh, there they are. 
Well, I was on the floor before unboxing, and then... <laughs> Buonasera, Jersey Boy Dano. Come stai? Come stai stasera? Hai mangiato bene? Ah, io no, non ho mangiato bene. I did not eat well tonight. I ate a bunch of junk food. This is them, Jill. But this looks like... I don't know if there was like a hen and nest kind of situation, but to me that looks like a very large soap dish. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. <laughs> Jersey boy and I are going to talk Italian all the time. There's someone else too. I forget who. Was it? Is it Danny? Yeah, there's someone that speaks Italian with me too. So, niente, just chilling. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so I think it was Jill. Jill, let me know if you want that. I will bundle it for 25 The smaller one matches my cup better. You want the small one? I could do it. I could run that for 12 I'll run it for 12 for you, friend, because you are sweet. All right. I don't know, just chilling in Italian. Oh, um... I don't know, relaxando. I don't know. I'm I'm just relaxing. I was like, I used to say, Ma, what are you are, are you what are you doing tonight? And she's like, eh, just to relax. That's how she said it. She was so cute. She had such an accent. What do we call that thing? Soap dish? Peacock? <laughs> Bolus. Lavic. I hope I spelled it. No, I spelled it totally wrong. That's all right. He's like, I don't know. I will pin that and that will, this one's really cute. Cute. Look how I said, that's really cute. I will run that for $12 for 20 seconds. I do have, um, a Jill, I'll show you. I have a little basket that I found too. Somebody donated all their <laughs> Polish pottery yet again. I find Polish pottery in, in abundance when someone got, you know, God bless them if they passed away and all their stuff got donated. But Generally, when I find Polish pottery, I find a bunch of them in one visit. One time, I filled up two carts. I was with Adam. I think we did a YouTube video. Two carts filled with Polish pottery. Sold every piece. I think I have two more at, at, at home, at the other home. Thanks, Jill. That is yours. Yeah. And I think the video, if you go back and watch it, I think it's called um, Polish Pottery Heaven or something like that. <laughs> it was something where we mentioned it. That's coming to you, Jill. I have paperweights on tonight, y'all. This is stuff that I thrifted, so I have a lot of stuff. So, Oh, I have granny squares. I've got a German Shepherd pillow. I've got a cat pillow. I've got these that I'm, like, obsessed with. Look at this. I don't know how old this is, but I like the pattern. Might not be that old. Beautiful, though. So pretty. This one I can do for 20 Then I have this is a cruel... Um, I have to find out what I'm going to price this at because it's a whole cruel blanket. So, yeah, I love that pattern, too. I thought that was so cute. I just It doesn't fit our table. So this one I'll take offers. Carve. That's nice. I found six hand-carved and painted wooden plates from... Oh, score. That is freaking awesome. Scorola. Then I have the MCM colors. Uh, this one has just like a little bit of lint on them, you know, just kind of in there. <laughs> it's just like you just have to pull them out. But anyway, I've got these granny squares also. I can always take it out and show you how big they are. Um, I have this. This one I'm asking $45 for. I know that they sell for about $90 online, I think. I think I saw a listing for $90. Um, like actual sold. If anyone's interested in that, that's uh, mid-century um, fondue pot yeah the cruel blanket is amazing i guess i would take offers for that but i'm just afraid of being like lowballed on it because i really don't know the volume the, the volume the value of it so but i don't know i think at least 60 on it would be good you know personally um when i'm at my vintage markets people are pricing things like that for like two three hundred dollars like i am not that crazy you know i think i sensibly price things um, this is an oil painting that's gorgeous. This one I can do for 25 if anyone's interested in that. 
it's really nice. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to try to be fair. I have a whole bunch of these turkeys. But two bags full of them. <laughs> Why did I buy this? Where's my air plant lady? You could put some in here. <laughs> I have two of them. Two of them. Um, <laughs> like where's my eggplant, airplane? So all of these blue things, these are going to be on our blue show, and put it there just so that it doesn't get broken. But this is for sale, but for pickup only. So I'd have to ask whatnot about that because I do flip furniture locally. <laughs> They're so funny. I love them. Yeah, so I do flip furniture locally, so if anyone's interested. I do have Bakelite hair receiver. This one I paid $10 at the antique mall, so I will ask at least $20. I'm sorry, $20. i will ask at least $15. There is a chip on there. So, oh, Robin, I, I'm sorry. I just sold those to Inspire. I'm sorry. I should have probably moved them out of the way. I'll find more copper teapots. The basket. This one? Oh, that one I could just do for, I could do that for 10. It's like very old. This one probably, it's like a, it's not very old. It's like 80s. So there's got a problem there. So maybe I can run that for, um, never mind. I could probably run that for five. There's a little problem there. See it? Section basket. This one I'm going to run for, if anyone's interested in that, I was going to bring it to the vintage market, but that I can run for 30. That is an old macrame one. A very old one. That's 30. This one I can run for five if that's the one you're looking at. It's got a problem there. I bought that because I really like those kind of baskets. But what other baskets? I think that's all I have as far as baskets go. I sold most of them. Um, I have a longer burger ones at the other house. So I could always sign on there. Didn't see the hole at first, but super cute. Yeah, I know. I, I could I could do that for five if anyone's interested because the hole is, uh, yeah. I'm still going to use it, but I, I'm going to patch it. <laughs> I'm going to patch the hole. Why is everything I want at the other house? Oh, yeah. So we abruptly left that house um, when my dad had his transplant. That house has all the stuff that I love to sell, but these are all things that I, I recently got. So uh, my thrift game is better <laughs> now because the stuff that I have here are like higher priced items. So as far as other platforms go, I can really up them. I just have to get to listing. I have not listed in a while anything on the shelves. Only things that you see like on the tables because like one, one listing takes me like an hour because I'm a perfectionist. Because I don't really do ephemera a lot, but I found this. That's really cute. Well, I don't know what it is, if it's a sticker. Black croc type thing on the upper shelf. Oh, yeah. So that I got at the antique mall for like 20. That one I can, it's it's really heavy. Um, that one I could, am I getting raided? Oh, cherry picked by Jerry. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. Oh, and Burner Brothers in here. What's up, y'all? Oh my gosh, I guess we should do a, a giveaway. Um, but yeah, that croc is, um, I got that in an antique mall. So I could do that probably for about 40, but your shipping will be a little high. It's quite heavy. I like brownware, so I thank you for the raid. Let's pick something to give away. Let's see. We will give away the toucan salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there's a lid on it. It's quite old. I mean, I love it. I love it. Love that croc. Um, I'm a brownware girl. <laughs> I just get that all the time. All right, so let me take a picture of the two cans. We're going to do the giveaway since we got raided. And everyone, please follow. I'm sorry, I forgot your name already. I'm going to go back and look because I have celiac brain and I forget everything. Two cans, salt and pepper. I really appreciate the raid. And I hope to return that back to you at some point, pepper. Let's see, and we'll do giveaway, got it. Yes, and then, all right. And then everyone can join it. We will publish any, I, 
Oh, you want? What do you want? Oh, the two cans. <laughs> Any small tint vase pottery? Yes, I have. Tint, tint vase. Here, let me run the giveaway first to get that going for y'all, and then I could show you. Oh, tiny! I was like, wait, because I do have Reuven, and Reuven is technically tinted. <laughs> the giveaway is for the two can salt and pepper shakers. Go ahead and join that. Thank you so much, Cherry Pick by Cherry, for the raid. Let me make sure I am following you. I am now. Oh, wow. You're so pretty in your picture there. <laughs> so colorful. I love the dress. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But, yeah. Um, tiny. I do. I have tiny vases. One of my favorite ones over here is this old one here. Um, I like anything oriental or, or Asian, but I do have a tiny base here. And then I have very small Tanala ones, I think. Let's go find them. This one I would run for eight, if you're interested in that. That is an antique, I believe, pretty old. And then um, I'm gonna show you my little Tanala ones if I can find them. I did have them the other day oh here they are wait till you see these is that a brass urn on the shelf under where you got that base brass urn i'm just looking back there underneath um there i don't think there's any brass but i will definitely go back there and look i'll go back there and look for sure inspire for sure for sure um the candle holders if you want them i could do 15 on them. I meant to tell you that before, but I got distracted. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, oh, the, okay. Um, I will, I certainly will. Um, these are miniature. Oh, you're welcome. They're miniature Tanala vases. They're super cute. I do have a set of one, two, three, four, and I can run four of them for 18. If you'd like them, they're really adorable. They're, um, painted hand painted. I'm trying to turn slowly so I don't get you guys dizzy. I'm not kidding. No joke. I was watching a YouTuber. She's not like a famous YouTuber or anything, but, um, teapot. Oh, that teapot. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. Um, that big teapot I could do for 40. It's a pottery one. I could show it to you though. Um, it's like, a artisan. No, not wood ceramic. It's going to be heavy to ship, so I, I, I would have to stick to the 40 there because I'm going to need a lot of um, bubble wrap on that. How tall is vase flower one? How tall is vase flower one? Oh, um, the little flower one? It's like, I'm going to show you. I have my measuring tape. What is by the chicken? This one? Oh, that's called a... Bajorong thing? I thought, uh, Benjerong? See how it's intricately? It's porcelain, though. It's intricately painted and has the stool. Yeah, I got this one with um, Kat when we went thrifting in Mount Dora during Renninger's fish. Is that huge fish a cookie jar? <laughs> Where? You know it's a teapot. And I found the salt and pepper shakers. Oh, <laughs> Gosh, no, <laughs> but I did sell an urn, a brass urn once for like $200 on ETSY. All right, so I'm going to take a picture of the candle holders. Um, I'll be right in the chat, y'all. Usually Adam is like helping me mod, but he is tired, went to the gym and could not get up out of the bed. <laughs> I think he does too much in my opinion, but he likes to work out. 15 publish that grain oh yeah it's okay i i figured that's what you thought i do have that but i don't know if that's brass i'll show it to you um the grain on there is like delicious i love it i'll run the pair of candle holders pretty tall 15 for 20 seconds that's running if anyone is interested in reuven i have I have it. I have a pitcher. I have vases. I have the world's biggest Reuven dish. Oh, probably because they're, hmm. yeah, they're, they're not always free when, let me see. 
it's charging it. Yeah, but you probably got a discount shipping though. It's not always free depending on, well, let me see if I could change the, um, let me see what happened. I'll just change the shipping. Let's see what happens. I can do less maybe. Maybe it'll be free. Um, yeah, because it depends on the weight of something. Let's see now. Maybe now. Lulu 1210 won. Did that work? I probably put in the wrong thing. Lulu 10 won the Toucan Salt and Pepper Shakers. Congratulations, friend. <laughs> You're welcome, Inspire. Yeah, no, kind of. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I was thinking in terms of I usually go up a little bit because of the box. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. You get you get some allowances with whatnot. They're not going to charge me. It's okay. Um, not all the time, but sometimes you get some allowances. If you bought before and this brings it over five pounds, it would start over. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Congrats. <Lulu. laughs> She's like me because I never like win anything. Inspired, those are yours. I don't like using flat rate. I'll tell you why. I used to do that all the time and the seller doesn't win. The seller ends up getting charged a lot because shipping is high. So it's hard to predict what's flat rate um, when I have a regular size boxes. Um, I, I don't like flat rate and I never do it. I never do it. Sorry, guys. Um, it's just I've been burned a lot with shipping and I just don't think that's fair at all. Yeah, I am. And, uh, you know, if you're local, I deliver to you. <laughs> I do that. You want the fish ones? Um, the fish ones I can do for 10 jersey if you want them. You don't want the teapot? <laughs> yeah, I don't even have flat rate boxes because I've just gotten so upset with USPS. I almost went to UPS, but whatnot. I don't think they use U UPS. I think they have a contract with USPS. For items as you limit. To yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I just, I hate flat rate. And then I got burned one time for selling to Canada. So I shut that off. Form. I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to sell to Canada anymore. It'll take them. Those? Okay. What did I say? 10? They're trying to change that. I hope they fix something because the sellers are getting charged so much money and we're not saying anything. And I'm like voicing my opinion to them about a lot of things in regards to shipping, um, you know, that really is very upsetting when you end up having to pay more and then you ended up actually just giving your item away for free. <laughs> so uh, there's a platform that I can't mention. It happens to me all the time and I have to dispute it. I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Because I've been selling for a long time. All of a sudden it's happening, you know? So something's up, you guys, in the world of shipping that I'm not sure what's going on but it's happening. <laughs> and I'm from Canada. It makes me sad. Um, no damage. Yes, we have the same issue as Sally. I, I bet, Shauna. I know it. In front, the red barn is a ceramic girl. In front, the red barn. Let's see if there's any damage here. I'm going to see. I'm going to look. Oh, oh, I see it. Yeah, the little girl's only five. Um, there is no chips or cracks in here. And then let's see here. This one, the teapot has some paint loss. So if anyone's liking that, wait, let me just make sure that's not. Okay, so there's a paint loss here, not a chip. And it looks like it's a manufacturing thing. Yeah, they are super cute. I paid four for the pair. Got these in Sarasota. I'll run them for 10 for 20. No pressure here, though. Mm, those are running. Super cute. In front of the red barn is a ceramic girl. Can I see her? Yeah, you can. They're really cute. I was so happy when I found Now they're going to be separated, but that's okay. They're Blue Sky, just so you know, which is a popular brand. Some of some of the things are rare, so congratulations, Jersey Boy Dano. Let me put that here for you, and I will show you the little ceramic girl with the bonnet. My figurines are never pricey unless they're, like, super special. But here she is. She's quite old. You're welcome, Jersey boy. That will be sent out to you tomorrow. This is cold painted. She's kind of old. Quite old. But I can run her for just five if you're interested in her. I quite like her eyelashes. They are better than mine. <laughs> 
I do have uranium, if anyone's into that. Uh, cold paint, meaning like you definitely don't want to expose heat to it. Um, that's, it's just not, you know, it comes off easily. Kind of like goofus glass, if that makes sense. Like it's just cheaply put on there, but I personally like the wear. I think it, I think it gives a charm. So, um, let's see what else. Oh, I have, um, this is not a Costa Boda. It's like it. This one is crystal instead of glass, which I thought was really neat. <laughs> Thank you, Inspire. You're so very sweet. Enjoy your package when you get it. Good night. Aw. The um the little girl. <laughs> I think there was like an obsession with figurines when I was a kid. My mother was like obsessed. Yeah. Good night. Aw, am I, I I'm following you now, friend. There you are. Um, I do have a I thought she was a Lalik. She is not a Lalik, but she's a cool candle holder. I think she's a candle holder. Let's see. Yeah, I probably have more. Oh no, she's not a candle holder. She's just a. She's. She might have been a lamp. See, because it has that thing. Porcelain girl. I have a lot of porcelain in general. So let's see what we have. Porcelain little pitcher. Little porcelain ducks. Porcelain birds. Chickens. Somebody asked me for chickens before. I thought so. Um, I have one of those mice, um, Parmesan cheese shakers. I sold, I sold out. I had like three of them and I got one left. I sold out of two of them. If anyone needs one. Porcelain stuff. Here's a bisque porcelain angel and a bisque porcelain owl in a porcelain vase i think it's chinese but I, I like those i think they're cute for the single flowers i've got these they're uh what do you call them again yona originals i have the hear no evil and i believe i have the see no evil but i don't have the speak no evil so these are cool these ones i can do um at ten dollars a piece or i can bundle them for 18 for both I don't have the speak. No evil, though. Um, I have a resin girl. She's real cute. Not porcelain. What else do I have that's porcelain? I have Lennox Snowman. If anyone are, is interested in Lennox salt and pepper shakers and you want to get them off my hands, I will run them for $5. I don't know why they're not selling, but they're not. They are Lennox, and they're in pretty good condition. I'll show you them. Um, so I will run those for five if anybody wants them. And then I was going to put them up on a Christmas show that I'll do eventually. You want them? Yeah, let me just make sure there's no issues with them. Like, no. See, I had them for $15 at the market, but they didn't sell. Someone picked them up, but didn't buy them. Lennox. So I'll run them for five. And anyone can bid if you're interested. Um, we'll take a picture. I like how he's holding his hat there. I thought they were cute, but sometimes Lennox just doesn't sell. Um, snowman Lennox. We'll just put pair. But yet, the thrift stores mark them up a lot. A lot. Save, publish. Pen. So they're real cute. Lennox Snowman for five, running for 20 seconds. Um, I see what else I can show you guys. Thank you for your bids. Um, I'm looking for porcelain chicks. I do have a Mary Englebright. I do have one. Thank you, thank you, Jill. Appreciate that. And those are coming to you. I'll definitely take them off of there. And these are some, like, Mary Englebright, 1996. Apparently, there's something special about this. I don't know. But they're selling for, like, 20 bucks online. I don't know if this particular year. Congratulations, Jill. Hello, Cherry Pick by Jerry. Please follow. Please follow. I just got rated by her. That's wonderful. Thank you. 
not a, do you really jersey i don't do well in florida at all with lennox i do well with things like this people want to have indonesian indonesian decor <laughs> but yeah this one i would do for 10 i don't know selling for an exorbitant amount of money i have no idea why i have these little soapstone owls these are real cute i can run the pair for eight if anyone's interested oh i have these these are vintage i don't know how old they are they're textile stamps um but they're really neat i did pay eight dollars i have three of them um i mean i could run all three of them for 30. <laughs> really <laughs> Yeah, these are really great. They're great to decorate with. Um, I have a lot of pottery. Tell you that much. I have one more weeping monk. I sold the other one for like fifty bucks on the other, the other network that we can't mention here. I have a Hager. Um, I have one more Polish pottery piece that's lurking right here. This one though, I I would have to I would have to at least ask. Um, let's see how much I paid for it, but I, I'm going to say 20, but it really depends. Paid for it. Sorry, guys. I have to like move stuff slowly. It's a large jar. I think I paid like eight for it. Yeah. This one I would have to at least ask 20 y'all. I think it's where you store like veggies or garlic in it. So... Manufactura Boleslavic. If anybody wants that, let me know. I will run it. Um, pretty cool piece. Porcelain Girls. I mean, I bought this one, but this is not going to be like a, you know, I could do the pair for 60. But Oh, the mushroom I could just do for eight. I think I have two of them, so I can run both for 15 if you want them. The mushrooms. I can find the other one somewhere. Um, I do have two, though. Yeah, or I can run one for eight. But yeah, these are my Corday. They're Corday. I can run them both for 60. I have two of them. They're kind of, <laughs> I could sell Corday all day long if I find them. I just got those. Yeah, so the mushrooms, or I can do both mushrooms. Did I say I can do both mushrooms? Yeah, I can do them both for 15 um, instead of 16. If you want to see the other one, I think it's down here somewhere. <laughs> just let me know are they the same um i think the other one is slightly let me see let me, i'm trying to turn you guys around without um hello burner brothers antiques please follow burner brothers amazing sellers i have takes everything in me to not buy stuff like every minute <laughs> there they have really cool stuff um let's see we're on a hunt we're on a hunt for mushrooms. I know it's here somewhere. Where are you? It's like in something. That's what happens when you have too much stuff. Yeah, they have like amaze balls stuff. But I just love like their shows, you know? Like I'll go in there and just check out their shows. Um, I have a Zuni bear too. Wait a minute, I will find it. Kissing dogs. Oh yeah, those are Westland too. Um, those I can run for 10. They are Westland. They sell for like 25 more probably. <laughs> you know, I love Slab Daddy. I know you're probably thinking, why is she still looking for this mushroom? Well, that's a good question. I do have it. I know I do. Just have to find it. But they're pretty much the same. That has a, like maybe a greener glaze. Um, magnetic. Yeah, they're magnetic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mushroom. <laughs> I know, Misty. I know. Um, do you want me to run that for eight? And if I find the other one, I'll just like minus the price and put it in my bite now if you really want it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go back there. I just have to make sure I don't trip. The dogs? Yeah. Sure. There's no issues with them. Uh, they've got their stoppers. They have their original tags. <laughs> They're really great. That is a good deal on those French Bulldogs. They sell for a lot. 
Okay. And then I'm going to look around as I'm running that for the other mushroom. Um, take photos. Because I know it's here somewhere. I just have to find it. Um, add. We'll just put West the Dogs Magnet. I'll understand what that means. Salt, pepper, shakers. With the original tag. And then we will list. You're welcome. Pin that, and that will start now. That is writing. Yeah, they're really cute. I actually originally bought them for my friend who has really crazy Tasmanian devil um, French bulldogs, but then I said no. <laughs> this Afghan. This Afghan is 60 bucks. It is really great. It is mid-century modern, and it is perfect. I put it there because... I have been asked about it for a lot, um, a lot of times, and I just put it up here because it's the most beautiful Afghan I have. But I can do 60 on that one. Congratulations, Wildcat Quinn. That is yours. <laughs> You're welcome, Misty. Anything you guys see here, just shoot me an offer. I probably won't say no. I have a lot of Afghans also. Let me put that here. We're looking for a mushroom, so aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Wildcat. You're so sweet. All right. Um, let me just put that here. And then actually, you Viking mush. No, my God. Are you kidding? I wish. I wouldn't sell those. I did find this hair receiver, if anyone likes hair receivers. I can do 18 on that one. You have four. Oh, my God. What a collection. Lucky you. Woof. That's awesome. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to give one more go to find this mushroom. And then I guess. <laughs> oh, lucky. <laughs> I do. I have I have a cruel. Mm, at this location, the only cruel I have, there's two of them. Brace yourself. It's extremely beautiful. Um, but I can't ship it. It would have to be a pickup. I would put it on what not to sell and or the shipping is going to be expensive, like very expensive. Get enough bubble wrap. I mean, wait till you see it. It's and it ain't no cheap thing. Like it's going to be at least like 200. Look how big. I mean, I paid 69. I think I got 20 percent off. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Amazing. And then I also have a cruel. Um blanket i mean i couldn't pass that up you know like totally bought it um this one and this one i what did i ask for last time the prices always change i don't remember i think 60 that's what i asked for that one 60 for it it's uh amazing this is amazing yeah 60 i gotta stick with that because <laughs> wait 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 y'all are you guys reading Misty? Wait, first she goes, wait, oh my alert. And then she goes, what the shebanga? I can't, I can't even. You are so funny. <laughs> yeah, I find these things in Palm Beach. Um, <laughs> if you guys are wondering if I'm still looking for a mushroom, I mean, I really am. Because I hate when I tell somebody something and then I can't fulfill it. Like, it's just not good customer service whatsoever. I'm talking with a lisp because I have to get my wisdom tooth pulled out next week. It's really bothering me and it's impacted. <laughs> yeah. Well, Misty, if you want any of those, let me know. The cruel, the frame one, I just can't do it. I can't ship it. It's, I don't know. Yeah. I hope I don't die because I've never been put to sleep IV before and I get cardiac problems with anesthesia. So if I'm not here next week, y'all, I died. <laughs> I'm like so scared to do this. But they said I'll be fine. I was like, I hope you're right. I've just never been put to sleep. And I see those snowmen. I have snowmen? Oh, I just sold those. Sorry, Misty. Let me take out the things I sold. I just sold those to um, gel mills. Let me move that. Sorry. Oh, I've seen people take some out of the frames to ship. Oh, yeah, but the frame is so good. But, I mean, even if I did that, I would still sell it for... Uh, I would still sell it for 200 I can't go lower than that. I just, I can't. I've seen that sell for like thousands, thousands, a couple of thousand on um, 
C H A I R S S. -S. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, Jill. Ooh. My husband had four of them taken out at the same time. So, I don't know. I just, you know, like, it's always something. <laughs> I have a frosted jack in the pulpit. <laughs> if you guys like it. But um, I have a mushroom box. Um, she was a hot mess, really. Was she in, a, like, a lot of pain before Misty? I mean, after? Because I'm in so much pain right now that I can't imagine that afterwards it would be worse. And my dad's like, well, just picture it like it's out. So if it hurts, it's going to hurt for a couple of days, but it, the problem is solved. So I thought, I really like that he said that. That actually made me feel really good. Mm, I hope so. Yeah, I get so nervous. Um, Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, he's like, oh, you can take Motrin. I'm like, um, I don't do Motrin. I was a kidney nurse for a long time. I ain't trying to get kidney failure. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to move this darn couch. You know, if, if somebody wants this, I think the lowest I would go is 50. 50. 50 is my lowest offer on, on this blanket. <laughs> oh, hell no. They gave her the good stuff. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> I could probably... I could probably get the good stuff. I don't know. He told me um, he told me that he can give me some narcotics. I'm like, ah, I just don't like feeling loopy and out of my element. Um, well, I have this. I should have brought this out during during Easter, but it's still so cool. Anyone's interested in that? I can do that for eight. I love it. Little pretty glass egg cup. Eight. That one was a um I'm moving the couch. Ah, that one was a uh estate sale find. Thought that was cool. Oh my god, what a mess. How am I gonna get out of here after? All right, let's see. The mushroom's gotta be here somewhere. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, oh, I have one of these. These reminded me of my grandma. I love them so much. If anybody's interested in this, I'm going to run this for five. Look how pretty that is. I only got it for 99 cents, so five's good. Five's cool. I love those. Reminds me of Nana. My Nana. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I give up on the mushrooms. But um, <laughs> what I could do is look for it if you want the other mushroom i could run that for six just to give you a break because that's not cool and if i find it then i can let you know and then run it for six also the other one so <laughs> just let me know just say run and i will oh well you know <laughs> i try um i have this little oh i have like a mushroom um i don't know how vintage it is but let me see if I can find it now. Where did we put it? Oy. The couch is in the way. Let's get the couch out of the way. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. Oh, here's the mushroom. I'm going to move slowly. I hope I'm moving slowly. Here's the mushroom. We can run it for six. Um, I have a mushroom frog vintage candle, but that one I got to do 20 on. At least, at least 20. Look at him. And then there's a frog next to him. So I can do 40 for both. They're very old candles. Yeah. Oh, I tried to grab it. I need Adam. Oh, hold on, y'all. Everything's going to fall. Give me one second. I don't want this to fall on my foot. That would be pretty bad. These are very, very heavy tiles. <laughs> oh, did you, Jersey? I had only a Nana. The rest, everyone died. Not to sound depressing, but everyone literally died in my family that I love, <laughs> including my mom. And my favorite, which is my uncle Genasio, he died. I'm trying to reach that. Hold on. I always make such a mess afterwards. 
I have to stay up and clean. <laughs> it's okay. I love it. I love selling vintage and I love talking to people. Let's see if I can get that out. Adam's long, long arms are not here to help us. Oh, he is amazing. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, so I can do 20. He's very big. And then the other one I could do 20 also. So I could do 40 for the both. They are vintage. If anyone's interested in that. Resale wise, I have no idea what that is. Good night, Jill. Oh, thank you so much for coming in and your bids. I will send that out to you. Oh, yes, of course, Misty. I'm going to keep him down here because I have a feeling he won't last in my inventory very long. All right, let's see if we can get this one. <laughs> Bye, Jelly Bean. This one has a little bit of stuff issues on the bottom, but he's so cute. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I collect vintage um, candles, so I even have um, owls somewhere. So, yeah. Run this guy. You don't like the mushroom guy? You want him? <laughs> okay. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I do like him, too. I think he's darling. Um, let's see. We'll take a picture. He actually has, like, a sticker on it on the top. I don't know what it means it's an old price of it from the 70s probably it says two dollars definitely was not two dollars i think i paid like five five ninety nine or something like that frog candle um 20. oh man he's a, he's a little heavy um Okay, I will pin him. He is real cute. We will run him for 20 for 20 seconds, 20 for 20. If anyone is interested in him. Oh, oh no, look, hey, I understand. I am jobless. So don't worry about it, Missy, I get it. <laughs> like, you don't get it, I get it. I mean, you don't get it. You do get it, but I get it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm moving away because I think that I need a boo-boo here on something. Just make sure. Did you win it? Yeah, Misty, that is totally coming to you tomorrow. Let me make sure I just don't break anything here. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Oh, you're so welcome. Let me take him off because I have a tendency of leaving things on the shelves. But I always send it out. Oh, you guys, I wanted to ask you. Okay. If you guys ever receive anything for me broken, something is wrong because I pack really well. I want you to immediately tell me so I can inform the USPS because I am shipping out of a USPS center and this lady freaking hates my guts because I'm running a business and I have a lot of packages. And she screamed at me and told me not to bring my packages to her anymore. And I've reported her and she got reprimanded for it. Long story short, Two of my items were severely damaged, broken boxes, everything on another platform, and then someone on here also. And it was something, things that I sent out there, and that has never happened to me before. So please let me know if that happens. Keep the box, because take a picture of the box and send it to me. <laughs> Misty, she's so awful. She hated me. I got her on tape calling me a bitch, everything. I think I'm going to walk to the news, because the post office... Uh, the USPS doesn't seem to really care. They just keep telling me they're going to do something about it. Yeah. Yeah, Shauna. Thanks, Misty. Yeah. So I have her on a tape and I'm going to the news about it because some they have to, there has to be some kind of attention to it because they get away with everything. She goes, oh, good luck talking to my supervisor. I have no direct supervisor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, if you affect my businesswoman, I, I will make sure you you lose your job. I was like, my reputation's good with shipping. So that really hurt. It hurt. And one of them was like a hundred something dollar item. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was like, kind of like an empoli, like an amber empoli looking thing. And I was so upset about it. I was like, no, like glass. I pack it so well. 
Hello, our mad treasure. Oh, please follow our mad treasure. Jersey boy Dano, Dano, you also sell, right? You guys let everyone know when your next show is. I would really, really um, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to know when. Uh, what is in here? <laughs> you guys, what's inside the cup? Oh, it's a little polar bear um, thing. If anybody wants that, that's a crystal polar bear. Seven, I could run him for 10. I think I've had him for a long time because he's been hiding in the cup. <laughs> this is for Franciscan, a Franciscan bud vase. Um, I can run this one for six if anyone's interested in it. It's really cool. Uh, Instagram, okay. Misty. Oh, Misty, that's cool. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about this. And, and by the way, um, are you the same name on Instagram? Because I'd like to follow you. Jersey Boy Dano. Let me make sure. Yes, I'm following you, of course. Jersey Boy Dano is live tomorrow night on another platform. <laughs> I was like, are we promoting it? I have a show on Wednesday, too. 2 p.m. Autism Awareness Ray Train. Please bookmark and stop by. Let me follow you and view your profile shows and I will bookmark. <laughs> I left for a second there. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I love that. Oh, Vintage Rocks Autism. Please, please, please follow that. I love estate sales. Obsessed. Um, oh, you know what? So I bought this thinking, I don't know what the heck this is, right? And I'm still trying to find out what that signature says. I get home and I, I realize that it was like a toucan. It was a bird. Lollipops and vintage frog. <laughs> what a cute name. I'm going to save that. Little glass amberina pitcher. Oh, this one? Um, I mean, I can do 15 on it. It's, it is definitely Amberina. It does glow. I think I got that at an antique mall. I just thought it was really cute. Yeah, I could do 15. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's not that little. It's like the size of my hand, so it's, it's good. Um, I have this little vintage thing. If anyone is interested in that, that's really cool. It's a sun catcher. Um, sea currents. Let me know. I'm, I, I, don't worry. I know where it is, so I won't forget. There's another one though. Uh, so I can't get it mixed up. If you do like I have Lucite grapes. I actually bought those from Georgie Antique Nomad. So they're not up for sale just yet. This one is going to be 50. If anyone wants those, that large napkin holder. That's bad. I have not done whatnot live shows yet, but I am vintage diva Amy on all other platforms. Vintage MC, I'm obsessed. I'm going to take that screenshot. Yeah, so that is my only other mushroom I have. But I have to do 50 on that one because I paid 30 for it. They would not budge on that price at um, Red, White, and Blue in Miami. And I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and get it. This one's cool. It's a pottery ashtray. It says, vivre deux, c'est deux fois vivre, I speak French. Um, that means to live for two means living twice, which is nice. Sweet. But it's kind of ironic because if you smoke cigarettes, you won't be living forever. For, I mean, for too long. But it is sweet. <laughs> you can use it as an eyeliner holder. That's what I tell people to do with ashtrays. It's kind of ironic. Nothing gets past me. It's just like, these are cute. I don't know how old they are, y'all, but I love them so much. Oh, thank you, Misty. I also speak Italian. We do Italian shows on here where we maintain character the entire time. Um, <laughs> these jars are really cool. I think I have another one somewhere else, but of course I never keep anything together, which is my style. You know, there's a red, white, and blue in Jersey too. Can't go. Why? You can't go there because it's too good or, or you hate it? <laughs> Paintbrush holders. That's smart. That's smart. Pick and rejoice. I like that. Oh, it's I know they're they're ridiculous around here too. So depleted now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's actually cool. Um, I took it home thinking, well, I've never seen a Kenyan bottle before, and then I pulled off the tape, and this ended up actually being an egg in there. So I don't know if they just got creative and shoved the egg in there because I've sold the eggs before. So I thought that was really cool. And maybe it was intentional. 
I don't know. This one I could do for 15 if anyone's interested in that. Um, let's see. I do have a rare piece here. This is a Palomar. Yeah, Palomar. Kind of like a Rinconado rival. A little bit, but he's pretty rare. But this one I could do for 15 if anyone's interested in him. Um, usually the Rinconadas I do for 18. But this one I could do for 15. Anyone's interested? Let's see. Oh, I have a tumbling clown here. He's plastic, but not too plastic. I think like resin, resin or celluloid. No, no, I don't know. But he's really neat. I love him. I paid three for him. I can run him for eight. <laughs> Canton Fleet in Texas. I go there first Mondays each month. Awesome for artists and pottery. Oh, I love that. Um, I'm actually going to the extravaganza in Springfield in May. I think it's 17, 18, 19. I'm driving there. 16 hours. I am driving. <laughs> and I will bring you guys a YouTube video. <laughs> I promise. There will be a YouTube video. Daughter is a Civic Center coordinator for first Monday. Oh, that's cool. I have a stash jar. Don't ask me what you can stash. <laughs> you know what a stash jar is, right? Um, I would put candies in there. Whatever form of candies you got to put in there, it is going in the stash jar. So if anybody wants this, oh, there was, oh, it was a cork. I can do 10 for that one. I did buy it on whatnot and I paid eight for it plus shipping. So, uh, you know, but if anybody wants that, that's cool. Let me know. I'll put it here. I'm going to do 10 for that stash jar. Oh, my God. Would anybody be interested in a Best Western Vintage Ice Bucket? Okay, I will run that Vintage Rocks Autism. You know, I have celiac disease. I always feel very close to the autism community because I know that they have issues with gluten a lot of times. Am I correct? Um I also used to work with autistic children in the hospital and sickle cell, the same, they actually put them in the same unit, um, but just separate, like separate um, areas. And we all took care of them. And I just love autistic children. They are so lovable. Um, let's see, we'll put stash jar. But I understand the gluten thing because I have celiac. I don't know what the tie is though with the autism and this and the gluten thing. I don't know, is that heavy? No, not heavy. A little bit heavy. They are so sweet. Oh, do you really pick and rejoice? Oh, gosh. Well, we're kind of lucky that there's a lot of gluten-free stuff now, but when I first got started, boy, oh, boy, was that difficult. Ah, uh, you messaged me? Okay, I'll run that for 10 for 20 seconds. Should I go look at it now, Jersey Boy? Is it, um, is it of dire importance? <laughs> no okay <laughs> um sometimes when i'm running something and i'm really lowballing myself my friends who are in the chat will write to me and, and they'll text me and say are you sure you want to run it for that and i'm like yeah <laughs> clearly mentally challenged sister that i have told my mom she has them too uh oh oh Oh, you're welcome, Vintage Rocks Autism. That stash jar is coming to you, friend. Let me put that away. You guys um, are also sweet. I'll never stop coming to Whatnot, even though I sell on other platforms also. Um, I want to say come check me out there too, but it's the same stuff. So keep it on Whatnot. Keep it on Whatnot. Let us not upset Whatnot. Oh, gosh. Let's see if that broke. I doubt it, though. Because nothing breaks. Everything always falls on the floor. And I don't know. I think my mom's watching over me. Look at this. I dropped this thing and nothing broke on it. All porcelain and nothing broke on it. <laughs> I always think my mom's around when that happens. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's just keep it on whatnot. Um, because I don't want them to be like, well, are you promoting? You know, I'm not. I just I sell on every platform you could think of. All right, I have this. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, vintage. I mean, you have to put it this way. Sharing with you what made me smile today. I can't. 
Well, this is, I don't know what this is. Is this for cigarettes? What is that for? Is it a card case? But anyway, that's brass. So I thought that was really cool. That was a cool pickup. I really love wood. Can you tell? I watched that um, Left Coast Revival, Laura Caldwell. You guys know how much I love her. And um, for those of you who don't know, I am going to totally give you a really cool European YouTube video soon because we're going to France with her and her crew in September. Oh, you're welcome, Misty. Thank you for your bids. Those things are going to be sent out tomorrow. Thank you. Everyone follow each other. I'm following you right now, Misty. Playing card holder. Yeah, I figured. But, you know, I would use it as jewelry. A jewelry box. Especially for men. That's a good gift for a man, I think. I think so. Or just anybody. Um, I have a little furry friend here. This is a ornament. Don't know if it's real fur. I don't think. It doesn't feel like real fur, but I could do five for him. He's an old ornament. You're welcome. Aw. I have one pepper left. Believe it or not, I am constantly selling veggies, glass veggies, and fruit. I have no idea why. I never thought they were actually popular, but now recently people are asking for these things. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to pick them up. So there's one left. Um, I have an elephant bank. I have, this is like, this is cocoa wood. Put two new decks of cards in it. My birthday is in September. I might have decks of cards. <laughs> you want me to send that to you? This is um, cocoa wood made in the Philippines. Feels like plastic, but it's not. So cool. I love the grain on it. That's a caviar dish. Fancy. Fancy. Um, I do have these pigs. They're kind of cute. <laughs> People are always asking me for pigs. Well, here's here's some pigs. <laughs> I can run those for five if anyone wants those. Um, what else do I have on these shelves? I don't know. A Christmas tree. I'm saving all my Christmas stuff for like a Christmas show, which we shall do at some point. Italian glass. Mushroom. Um, I do have a Ray Dunn butter dish. This is cool. I'll tell you about the enamel vase. Oh, the cloisonne. Oh, it's just really cool. Um, I don't know how old this one is, but it is a cloisonne. And I was gonna do a cloisonne show because I just I love the pattern so much that I buy it. Something like this would probably sell for about 20 bucks. I could do 15 for you guys. I did pay $7.99 for it. Um, but I could do it for 15 if anyone is interested in that. Um, very intricate design and cool. Those are going up in value. Um, is that the one you're talking about? I have a small Reuven vase here. This one I can run for 12 I have Raku. This is cool. This is a good find. Oh, and I have this, which I think is really cool. That is Aura 4 crystal and it's an olympic torch i think let's see i thought it was the olympic torch yeah so that's cool when you light it up you know and it is signed aura four underneath that one i can do for 20. i think the resell value is about 25 30 for those they're kind of ubiquitous <laughs> i had a subscriber tell me today on my video she said Oh, you said ubiquitous again. I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> She's glad it's back. <laughs> I learned the word a long time ago. I loved it. I've been saying it since high school. It was one of those vocab words. <laughs> I have fire and light, but my fire and light dishes are 60 bucks a piece. If, if you know, if you know, you know. Hashtag if you know, you know. Um, I have this. Oh, my God. Sorry. I have this Timbuktu book. Oh, I have more stuff I didn't I didn't show you guys. This is cool. I could do this one for five. I think it's a vintage Timbuktu book. You know, I like these little, um, you know, they're like stocking stuffers for kids and stuff. Um, I bought that because <laughs> my mom used to say, um, like, if I had to go anywhere far, she'd be like, you're going to go all the way to Timbuktu? I don't know why she said that, but she was really cute. 
They're not signed, but not all fire and light is signed. I just, I sell fire and light like water. So I just know that it is fire and light. Here, I'll show you them. Uh, they're, they're not, they're not signed. Or they might be, I didn't check. Let me see. Here's some of them. And they're super heavy, which is one way you know it's fire and light. This is the olive one. I had a total of like 12 I scored on them, but I sold like, um, I think I sold eight of them. Yeah. And so I have one, two, three, four left. So that was like incredible sale. And then I also have, um, they're not signed. It's my understanding that they're not all signed. So. I used to freak out when they weren't. I'm like, I don't know, how do I know? But now, I mean, like I said, I sell them so much that I just know. See up there, there's the fire and light big bowl and there's some little dishes in there too. So if that's something you're interested in, we can discuss later and do like a bundle thing. Um, but definitely I gotta stick with the prices that I have. I only have the, uh, I only have the um, olive ones. Um, I had celery for a while and then they sold. Um, I tend to find fire. I know this is crazy, right? I tend to find fire and light and glassy babies. <laughs> like things that people like wish they found. I like find them, <laughs> which is crazy. We're talking about fire and light and someone named fiery light came in. Welcome in. We're talking about you. Just kidding. <laughs> what is this? What do I have here? Oh, doll heads. <laughs> And loose side candles too. Yeah, I hit the mother load with that. I hope I find some more. These are the doll heads. These I have to stick with the $18. They do sell for about 30 bucks. They're vintage doll heads. So $15 for those. If you know, you know. Um, that's a good deal on those. These were actually returned to me. Don't know what happened, but it returned and said signature something that the person didn't sign. I'm like, I didn't require a signature. So when I tried to contact the buyer, they didn't answer. So I'm like, what happened here? Well, anyway, so vintage pipe cleaner doll heads, Christmas ornaments, 15 on here. Let's see what else I got. I have a lot of stuff. I have the Johanna Parker picture. I found a 12 piece fire and light situation just tumblers. I would have freaked out if I saw that. I sold them in set of four for crazy money. I know. If I told you where I sold mine, it was the CHAIR that platform. Y'all, I had so many pieces I banked. My sale was like over, I think it was like, I don't know, it was like $900. But, you know, they take such a big percentage out. So I think I profited like 700 something, but still, oh my God, I got each piece for like a dollar. And it was crazy. Today, I delivered a mid-century modern table that I got for $2.99. Not a table, like a stool, like a little end table. Looked like a stool. And, and that person paid, I think it was like $800 cash, which was awesome. That was good. I love flipping furniture like that. I'm like, we'll, we'll drive it to you. If you're local, I go five to five miles. Anything above that, I do charge. The 12 piece, yeah. So because I don't have a lot of room here, so I don't want to get a storage again. So when I find pieces that I know for sure will sell, like that Drexel, that will sell. I just haven't listed it yet. But, um, and then I have this here. Let me push the curl back in. Check this table out. I shouldn't put anything on it, really shouldn't. But it's a hand-tooled leather MCM Inca Tumi Warrior design um, table. I got it for $5.99 and I was live thrifting on whatnot when I found it and everyone freaked out with me. <laughs> Does anybody want anything on this table before I move on? These mugs are really cool. They are gonna be 18 a piece. They are very good pottery mugs. Mine were all signed. Oh, God, those are the best ones because then you know for sure that people are just trusting me, which they should. 
on the table. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The pottery mugs are 18 a piece. These are like redware. They're really great. If you want both, um, I can do them both for 30, which knocks out like, um, I can't do math. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't knock down $6 or something. I don't know. This one's my favorite. This is an Adam pick. There's something about this mug. Um, it's hand turned. I mean, it's wheel turned and it's, look at the handle and it's just perfect. It just fits great. So I can do 30 for both of those mugs. This one is in the style of Bill Campbell, but I guess this one is also. And don't even get me started on Bill Campbell, y'all, right? <laughs> you could sell that like crazy too. This is a cool, um, kind of like a crock, like a mini crock or a planter, but I just love the black glaze on it. I think that's great. And this one I can do for 15 if anyone is interested in that one. This mid-century vase I can do for 25. It is very old. Um, it is signed somewhere, I thought. Oh, it's very faint. Maybe it's not signed. I thought it was signed. It is. It's somewhere. I think it's very faint. Anyway, do 25 on that one. I just like the way the glaze dripped down in the vessel. I thought, well, that's brutalist. That's cool. Um, I have a little pottery um, thing here I can do for eight. It's not signed, but it should be. It's got a little iridescence to it. That's pretty brutalist. I tend to pick up things that are brutalistic. So if that's your style, <laughs> sorry, I just made you dizzy, then that's me. So lots of pottery pieces here. The patio furniture set, I can do the whole set for 18. There's a drawer, there's the, the mini furniture, the whole thing for 18, if anyone wants that. Um, this is a art pottery uh, jug. Has some paint slips up there, some paint chips. But this one I could just do for 12, if anyone's interested. It's very whimsical. If you know anyone whimsical, I just put flowers in there. It's glazed, so you can use it. It's food grade. Um, and then I have oops, there's a hair on it. This little girl I can do for 12. She's real cute. This little doggy, very old. So that's what I have on this table. If anyone wants any of that, I found these today. These are excellent. They're Mexican Palomar. These I'd have to do at 20. I'd have to. So they sell for 20 a piece usually. So that'll be cool. This is Michael Aram and I'm taking offers, but it is Michael Aram. That's signed. Um, what else is the stuff I got today? Um, this is cool too. This one I could just do for, I could do this one for nine. Folk art, really beautiful, lacquered. I bought these from East Coast Eclectic. I said, I want your bubbles. <laughs> They're glass bubbles. Um, she does shows like every, I think her name is Janie. Yeah, 8 a.m. almost every morning during the week. I'm not sure about the weekends, but check her out. She's so relaxing, you guys. She's sweet. Um, East Coast Eclectic. I love her so much. I think she's adorable. She's just very simple. You know, she'll sell, like she'll have one thing and say, salvage you know metal or something like she names it so beautifully i do have i think this is williamsburg pottery yeah so do you have this how much did i pay for that 2.99 um if anyone wants williamsburg pottery mug um i could do 15 for that i think that's a pretty good deal if anyone's interested and i have a set of these little um teddy bear pottery things i don't know who made them but I, they're really cute i think i have four pieces somewhere but one two three i thought there was four pieces maybe there's only three anyway they're kind of cute the glaze is missed over here so they probably just put like a stencil and i don't know how they did that super neat super cool I'm assuming that's how they say it in France. I'll find out in September. Super cool. Um, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> um, I love this dish. Hi, welcome in, peeps. 
I love this dish. It's again, it's a brutalist piece. Look at the glass. Like, take a shot every time I say the word brutalist or ubiquitous. Um, but it's just cool. What kind of silver overlay is that? You know what I mean? Very different. Very mid-century, in my opinion. Is that crack? No. I can do 15 for that if anyone's interested in that piece. I think that's a unique silver overlay. Usually you see the silver overlay like all pretty and floral and all sorts of stuff. That is like crazy. I love the crazy. I have those candle holders back there. Those are heavy though. They're cast, <clears throat> sorry, cast iron inside of them. So they're crazy. Just really pretty. They ain't going nowhere. That's for sure. Once it's on your table, it's heavy. Um, I have this angel, which is sweet. I can do this one for 10. Um, it's a candle holder. Maybe not 10. I could do eight for her. Yeah. I think I paid like $3.99 for her. But I thought she was sweet. I'm like, somebody's going to want her for Christmas or something. But, you know, you put your candle in the back there and she lights up. She's real pretty. $8 for that one. Um, I have a Viking glass owl. What else? What do you guys want to see? Oh, this one's cool. This is a mid-century box. Yeah, I got this one in Key West. Check this out. Look at the pattern. So cool. It is plastic or lacquered. I think it's lacquered, actually. I don't know. Welcome in, Nina Vintage. I see all of you. Thank you so much for the follow also. Pong Pong. Hello, Melissa. Hello, All Access Pretty and Dewub and Steelcraft and Chulag. <laughs> Hi. You sell here, so please share your show. Anybody who sells, please share your shows at all times. Anytime you're in here, you can do that. I always say that if I have a thousand people in here, I don't care. Share shows. <laughs> all good. It's all about the exposure. There's so many great sellers on here that I just really wish I didn't see one or two people in their shows because it's like they're so good, you know? And I just, it, it breaks my heart. But they, they have to build it up. You have to build it up. Social media platform, platform and that's the way life is. So, hello, Pong Pong. Oh, let me move that stash jar before I drop it and break it. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, I got these relish and mustard. I don't know why they priced it like this. I literally paid $3 for the base, two for that, two for that. <laughs> Which is crazy to me. But I will run it for 12 if anybody wants that mid-century uh, modern. It has a teak handle with the stainless steel. There is an expensive item on here, but I'm not sure if it works. This one I'm asking 94. I have verified that it is an antique. So if anyone's interested in this, there's some kind of writing on there. I don't know, but let me know. I just don't know if it works. It's just beautiful. Very Art Nouveau. Um, I have terracotta coasters. If you see anything, just let me know. I don't know. I'm going to do one more sweep through and then probably we'll raid into somebody. Um, I'm trying to think who we should raid into. Let's see. Who do you guys think we should raid into? Talavera. Do I have Talavera? I have Talavera Little Birds uh, on my collection right now if you want to see it. That would probably cost you nothing in shipping. And you know, stupid me, um, Jersey Boy, I picked up two Talavera pots today and then put them down thinking, well, are they even popular? You know, I mean, I did that. All right. I'm trying to like not knock things over. So I'm walking slow. But yeah, I have these. Yeah, I sure did. The only thing that I have Talavera at this home is, are these little birds. I have three over here. And I got two over here. And I got two more down here. <laughs> it's just so cute. Wait a minute, let me grab it. Ah, here's the orange one. Oh, thank you so much, Vintage. Oh, I really appreciate that. I think you have a great personality as well. And I, I really hope you have a great night and a good Tuesday. Don't let anyone stress you out. It's not worth it. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess. I thought I had more than those, no? 
I bought those. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't know. I bought those on Whatnot, like, very early on when I first started Whatnot. So, I don't know if you want those. <laughs> That's Talavera. Uh, as far as, like, vases go, I don't. I have this one that I'm, like, obsessed with. I never pick up clear, but this one I had to. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know if it's Fostoria. But that one I can do. Um, I can do 18 on that. If anyone's interested in it. The girl, I think she was a lamp before, but I wouldn't use her as a lamp. I'd probably put her in some fake snow around Christmas time, like in a village. <laughs> I don't know. I could run for, for eight. All the birds. Do you? Uh, uh, I don't know. 18 on all the birds. Yeah. Yeah, 18 on all the birds. Because you're a friend. <laughs> just kidding. I was never going to ask for a lot for them. I don't know. I probably paid more than that because, you know, we pay for shipping when we buy and whatnot and all that. So I always buy just to, like, help people. But also people have really great stuff. I won't buy from people unless they have great stuff. And I thought those were so adorable. Um, but I did pity buy a lot in the beginning, I'm going to admit. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, I did. I guess I can do 15. Yeah, I can do 15 on them. 18 is such a weird number. He's a really cool old turtle. And he has his original sticker on him. OMC Japan. This one I can run for six. He's cool. Very cool. Um, oh, and I have one of these pottery mugs that are cool. <sighs> I say the word cool a lot. But yeah, you just put your hands in it like this. And it warms your hands up. Which I love. I want I can do eight. And then the deer. The deer we can do eight on Zeldir. And then there's this thing. <laughs> that one I can do six because it's so darling. Super cute. I have uranium. If anybody, I don't know how popular uranium is anymore, but I have a lot of them. All right, so let us see. I just want to see who we can raid. Let's see, like, who's on? Um, Amy's on. Liz is on. Someone that's selling similar things to us. Let's see. Someone that doesn't have a lot of people in their shows. Oh, Taylor. We'll select Taylor. <laughs> You're welcome, Jersey boy. You guys are so sweet. I love coming on here and talking to all of you. I want to raid my friend Taylor. She only has a few people in the show. Let's go in. She has six people. So let's go in and show her some love. Um, I appreciate all of your time with me. And I will see you soon. I have some more shows booked. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. Let's go and check Taylor out. Love you all. Bye.